Hello, everyone. Before we start today's amazing episode of Have a Word, we've got to quickly tell you about our tours. We're on tour. I'm on tour. Dan's on tour. Tickets for my tour. I'm going all over the UK. AdamRoe.co.uk. Tickets for his tour at DanNightingale.com. A lot of these shows are sold out. Some are being added in cities that aren't currently listed. Keep checking regularly on AdamRoe.co.uk and DanNightingale.com. And also... Before we get to this week's public episode, we've got to tell you about our Patreon page, the biggest Patreon membership in the UK for a reason. Starting from just three quid a month, what do they get? Great value. They get a Patreon exclusive every Wednesday, which is unfiltered, have a word bullshit. Just me, Adam, and the boys, and it's the best podcasting we do. And then on top of that, the world famous have a word Patreon specials. Once a month, we do some fucking mental stuff. The classics, the lock-ins were amazing, weren't the roast, they? The uh, roast, blind date, the Nashville, Amsterdam, the ghost hunts. There's so many of them. There's a new one every month. But if you sign up right now, you also get access to the entire back catalogue. And that's on top of early access to these public episodes. Go to patreon.com slash have a word pod. Sign up right now. And from just three quid a month, you get access to the entire content list we've just given you. Go and do it now and join the biggest Patreon membership in the UK and one of the biggest on the planet for a reason. And then come back to this episode because, to be honest with you, it's going to be a belter. Wag Wag Leeds, you're listening to the funniest podcast in the game from the heart of Liverpool with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal and Finn. This is the one and only Have A Word. Brought to you by Manscaped, the very best product on the market for below the waist groom. Go Ed, get on me. <laughs> Just behave. <laughs> is that... Are we good then? We're starting. We're on. All right, we're on. We're on. Yeah. Fuck. You scared uh, of technology, Mike? Huh? I am so. I'm. I'm completely like technically challenged. I'm so dumb. Challenged in quite a few ways, really. Huh? Challenged in quite a few ways. Oh yeah, I'm so stupid. I can't stop shitting as well. Uh, is this a recent thing or? No, I know it's. I've all. I've always had it, but recently it's. It's kicked up a notch. IBS. Huh? I think so. Like the, like this morning. So I'm staying with uh, Hattie Preston. You know, great yeah, yeah. Uh, comics. Great. And I took. I think I took. Like, and her house is so nice. It's like lavender smelling towels and everything. And I just, the shits I took. The shit just, on a towel? Huh? Well, I just thought, I n- wrongly thought it would, I didn't think it was going to be liquidy. So I thought it'd be funny. <gasps> but then it just was watery and I just destroyed it. <laughs> a towel? Yeah. So you thought it would be funny to just poo on a towel? Yeah, but if it came out as like a, a solid like kind a of turd. poo. But then it came out like just shh. And I was like, oh, fuck. That's not good. You know, Do you know what you're I mean? never staying in mind. <laughs> All the old towels have got poo on anyway. But do you know, do you know what I got? Uh, I got remind, reminded of the other day because I was back home in, uh, I was back home on the farm in Ireland, and my mother told me about because I was just obviously I was back home and I was just shitting like a madman, um, because I know the because my parents know so it's like I can really be myself and just spend all most of the time in the toilet so but my mother used to write notes she had to write notes to the school for me and i hadn't been diagnosed with that and so i would just have a note on me at all times that michael like needs to shit a lot so like i'd be i'd like a shitting license i swear to That's god sick. it was so sick because then like anytime in the middle of class i'd be like waving the my little note and i'd be like i need to go for a i need to go for a fucking shit um, it's like those kids in our school. Those kids in our school who just went sick. Do you know what I mean? Not yeah. like mad. Like not like vomit. Like do you know what I mean? Like go yeah. sick. Like, yes. I'll go sick. Like yeah. Those kids in our school. They were like, disabled and we didn't. Yeah, yeah. Didn't they were know. disabled. It was like, yeah. well, you know, Alan goes sick. So sometimes, <laughs> like, if Alan gonna be fucking, uh, be like, right, Alan needs. Alan could just go. I need to go for a walk, or I'm gonna go sick. And they'd be like, yeah, go on, Alan. <laughs> yeah. You, I am. Um, I not Alan's like. What? I once wrote. You were Alan for a bit. I was I Alan for a bit. I'm I power once, ballad Alan. Go on. I wrote a letter to Mr. Remember Mr. Capstick? Yeah. Don't used to fake a note. Yeah. Can't remember what the note was about. But ev- the first le- letter of every line said, Capstick's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and I really thought I'd gotten away with it. But like, it was like, so bang on. He's a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like 14 going, ah, sick me. <laughs> Capstick's a cunt. You devil, sorry. Like, you're mad at it, innit? Yeah. Like, Imagine if she'd done that, though. It, Imagine it, how much trouble you, if your mum had done that accidentally and then you get in trouble for it. <laughs> Probably agree with me. Here's a cunt. Here's yeah, a cunt. there was a, a fucking there was a fella in our uh, in our class that had unbelievable like handwriting, you know. So people would always get him to write notes to the fucking <laughs> to the for the teacher uh, to to get out. Like they just want to go Dawson, so they get him to write notes and they have to go somewhere. 
And uh, one of the lads in our class was a, like just a real thick fucker. You know what I mean? He could fucking barely read. He was tough cunt though, you know? So he came up to your man, he's like, here, can you write me, write me a note for the teacher saying that I have to, you know, that I have to leave class for some reason. So your man only writes him the note. Anyway, your man <laughs> puts his hand up, goes up to the teacher with the note. The teacher looks down at the note and, and he goes, Brian, you need to go to the gynecologist. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, lad. <laughs> well, like, our, our school, lad, was, especially the first few years that I was in it, it was just absolutely insane. Like, it was from, like, the top down, our principal was a lad called Mad Lad. His principal and was called Mad Lad? He was called Mad Lad. He was out of his mind. He would just, he would run around kicking pieces of rubbish and, and, and shouting at them. He'd go, whoa! And he'd boot a, a, like a plastic bottle and he'd go, ho, ho. And he was just insane. But that bled down through the whole school. So there was just like, like, fuck all discipline. People yeah, were just, he's running the fucking gaff. That's right. So it was just this air of wildness and madness, like no discipline. Like I had lads in my class who'd stick up their hand. I remember one time we had this, we had this uh, female teacher, he put up his hand and he just said, me. She was like, yeah, uh, what is it? What is it they're calling me? He said, you know what you need? A good stiff cock up the arse. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she, she just like pretended she didn't hear it because she was like, she knew nothing to be done, right? But one time we had lad. <laughs> pretended she didn't hear it? Yeah. <laughs> miss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you need a good big cock up your ass, miss? Yeah. Oh. No, then she goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, oh, lad, it was insane. One time, this is true. When I was in second year, so I was 14, and this is the greatest day of my life. We had a, a riot in the school. We had a revolution. <laughs> so, like, we, I swear on my life, this is the greatest day. Like so strange ways. Oh, lad, <laughs> it was like fucking Lord of the Flies. We went fucking, we went ape. Like we I all said. We went sick. What? <laughs> 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 we all mad. So, basically, what? what a revolution. What were you the, trying to overthrow? So, basically. Mad lad and the boys. <laughs> so, basically, what happened, right? There was a, uh, there was a, a, a uniform day or we were supposed to get a no uniform day, right, on a Friday, and they took that away from us. So we were always in uniform. You know, it's like Catholic, you know, very pedo-Catholic vibes, you know what I mean? Like we, we were went all... to a Catholic school. Huh? We went to a Catholic school. Yeah, yeah. you know, the, you know the, the crack. So we were promised uh, a no uniform day. That got taken away from us. No explanation, no justice. We just don't have it anymore. Now, there's a fella in our uh, uh, sixth year, a man named Matty Cowman, a great man. A wild man, a cow leader, man. cow man, Matty <laughs> cow man. He was a, a he was a man that was a cow. He you never see a cunt. He just looked. His hair was that black and his face was that white. He was just like, did you ever see a cunt that's just in black and white? Or just, <laughs> do you know what I mean? He used to be a cowboy. Yeah, he was just a fucking cow of a man, but he had this wild spike. So that he, wasn't his surname? Huh? That no. So much right, okay. He no, was just didn't. Matty, but he became <laughs> Matty Cowman, right? And he had this spiky hair like Dennis the Menace. He had these fucking wild Clinton eyes he, he was just had this fucking uh you know kinetic fucking energy he was a, he was a madman he used to go out with my cousin he'd be nearly riding her through the wall you know he had a fucking <laughs> arse him like a sewing machine but so <laughs> she'd be smiling from she smiled from ear to ear that whole year anyway uh so next thing what happens is right me and my friends are coming back from uh lunch and we just hear this like low din of a fucking we're like oh what the fuck is that we come out onto the pitch Cowman has a tie wrapped around his head and he has a fucking Bowron. Do you know a Bowron? No. So a Bowron is an Irish instrument. It's like made out of fucking cow skin, fucking funnily enough, right? And you have this little kind of a, a wooden spoon with you that you go, spoon? A yeah, spoon? a wooden spoon. <laughs> a wooden spoon. <laughs> a wooden spoon, Miss <laughs> Moneypenny. Uh, <laughs> a wooden, I'll hit you with a wooden spoon. Give uh, a little slap. <laughs> give a little slap <laughs> of a wooden spoon. <laughs> I missed that so, James Bond. So uh, well, I missed that scene in James Bond. <laughs> oh, no, a little give it, no, is it, have you, you not? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, have you yeah. not seen that Sean Connery interview from back in the day? What when he slaps Money Penny with a spoon? No, he's getting <laughs> interviewed on like the news, like to promote his new film. Yeah, and the like the the, the woman interviewing him, like female reporter, she goes, "Hey, you've made some like comments about women in the past, and like sort of keeping them in line, but like." sort of, uh, like, physicality and stuff. So do you still stand by all that? Like, with the new film coming out, are you standing by your phone words? He goes, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, so just... Uh... That's Ronald Koeman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting... Ronald Koeman, so he's brought the new James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the worst. 442. <laughs> I play Bergwijn on the left. 
give him a slap. <laughs> he, he literally says, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world to give a woman a little slap. <laughs> give her a little slap. And the woman goes, you, you, you don't want to slap women? He goes, no, it's just yeah, it's a last resort. Like, yes. but if you've tried to reason with them and they won't see sense, just give them a little slap. <laughs> but is this, and he, it's, it yeah. has aged terribly. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead now. Yeah. Sean Connery. Connery yeah, he is. Like oh, he's dead. Ago, he's maybe. dead duck. Worm food. But uh, Stage so, name as well. Like, you know, Sean oh, Connery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mm. it was too, yeah. yeah. But so your one was in, in the interview. She's just like, Sean, do you hear what you are saying right now? You are saying you should hit a woman. And he's just like, he's like, well, uh, he's like, the woman always <laughs> tries to have the last word. He's like, I'll give her the last word. You hit her a little slop. And Neither she's like, you can do Sean Connery, <laughs> can you? <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That was so bad, you know. I you know, do. lad. Even as I was doing it, I was like, that stinks. <laughs> but that's awful. Obviously, it's awful, but that is what we were referencing by the slap of the right? spoon. Yeah, so slap the spoon. So anyway, Cowman's out there with a bow on. So this is complete. <laughs> so this is cow skin, um. cow skin and a spoon. And he's there. See, this is like like an Irish kind of drum beat that would be used to drum up kind of resentment and hate against the English kind of thing. So do, 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 do. So he's there in the middle. Do, 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 do. Ah, and he goes into be west. So... <laughs> He's doing this shit. He has a lot of his, like, cowman's kind of uh, cronies are all around him. The cowboys? Uh, the cowboys, <laughs> yeah. The cowmen. Uh, are you so sure you haven't stole this from the film The Warriors? <laughs> no, lad. Fuck no. If anything... Sounds like the bottles if anything, in The Warriors. If anything, they were influenced by cowmen. <laughs> now, so a cowman is there. The, the lads around him, they all have their ties around their heads. So we come out, we see on the hurling field this is happening, and he's just going... Whoa, do, 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 do. So next thing, just like fucking... Flies to a big pile of shite. Everyone just starts flocking up around Cowman. And next thing, there's hundreds of us <laughs> just up on the hurling field. He's going, do, 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 do. now at this time, right? It's about fucking uh, a minute to two. Two o'clock, we're supposed to go back to class. So the countdown is coming on, right? Suddenly it gets to 10 seconds to like, you have to go back to class. And then it's like the clock is ticking. Do, do. The clock hits two. And we just get this feeling. We all look at each other. We're like, we're not fucking going back in. We're not going back into class. And just everyone just goes, ah! and we were just all like fucking nuts, dancing like this. So next thing anyway, the fucking, the teachers come out, right? The teachers come out and they're like, what the fuck's going on here? They see us shouting. Now the thing is, some of the teachers have been waiting for this fucking day. <laughs> They've been knowing that there was going to be a fucking, a clash at some point. Now what you need to know about Kilkenny, where I'm from, is it's the biggest hurling county in Ireland, right? Now hurling is a sport where you carry around pieces of it's timber. The Warriors meets me machine. Yeah. It's fucking insane. <laughs> I know. But so, what you have to know is we all have big pieces of timber in our hands, right? Because Cox. this is a hurling school. That's the sport we play. So not only is there hundreds of students, but think about if every student had a baseball bat, right? We all have these big pieces of timber but the teachers have them too, right? So these teachers come out and they, and they say to us, they're like, get back into fuck class, get back into class. Now Cowman is staring them down like a wild bull. Hang you on, know wait, he's... sorry. Uh, have the teachers picked the bats up on their way out? Not a bat, a hurl, lad. No, but I know what it looks like. Yeah. It's like a curl yes, thing. Yes, that's but right. Have they on their way out? Like, yes. Like loaded up? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lad, I'm not even joking. They have. They've come out with the hurls. And they're like, get the fuck, get the fuck back in the class. And so as they start approaching towards our group, he's still there, do, 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 do. And Cowman just shouts, charge, right? <laughs> so we fucking peg it. I'm talking like the running of the bulls in Pamplona and Spain, just, Whoa! we all running past, uh, running down past the teacher. Now at this stage, one of the teachers, I'm going to call him for legal reasons, Binky Swan, right? Now, Binky Swan. <laughs> No, 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 no. What? You can't say for legal reasons. <laughs> yeah. Binky Swan. Binky Swan. Why Binky Swan? Because that rhymes very heavily with his actual name. Capstick was a cunt. That's what? his real name. Well, right. Binky Swan. Yeah, I'm trying to protect the identity of Pinky Kwan. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Come on. That's his name. Pinky Kwan was our teacher. Sounds like a, a martial artist in like a Bruce Lee movie. Well, he certainly did. I don't think you've seen any Bruce Lee films. What? Pinky Kwan? <laughs> <laughs> if no, you do, no. any name in that voice, you could put them in a Bruce Lee film. No. Car Doesn't work. Pinky Kwan. Yeah, see? Yeah, no, that doesn't make sense yet. No, yeah. I was wrong. Pinky yeah. no, Kwan. No, uh, I, tried so... to, I tried to pull you up on something there, and I was bang out of order. <laughs> what you said made perfect sense. So... Look at Finn counting the days that he hasn't got a job. Yeah. <laughs> So, are you hung over again? No. Just, are you are you a little bit? It's a two no. day, it's a two day. No, I'm fine. I'm alright today. Look did, at the baggy. Did jumper. you have drink? Did you have booze yesterday? No. Okay. I'm I'm relatively fine. Finn's Peter Barlow, isn't it? Two day. 
No, Finn it's... recently discovered alcohol. Oh, Jesus. That's no good. Uh, carry on with your story. It's a devilish little bit of juice. Nasty soup. So... What did I say before we start? This is... Huh? <laughs> no, carry on. Oh, what the hell? Whoa! <laughs> Pinky quad. Oh, I said nasty soup, not Nazi soup. Come on now. Hey, now. Adam did tell me before, he said, don't say anything racist, which is a fair, for fair request. And as soon as you said it, I was like... Uh, I was like crumpling up pieces of paper and fucking away. <laughs> like Jesus. So, 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 anyway, so we charge down, right? And Binky Swan. Now Binky Swan has brought out two hurls, right? He stands in the middle of the field and just starts swinging them like nunchucks. He's like, come on, you fuckers. Right? So like, we're all just running past. So, yes. <laughs> it's it's a big mad ground, like the, the grounds of our uh, uh, school. So there's like fields, fields, fields all around. Um, so we just run down like to another pitch. He's like, wow, right? So next thing now, there's this just fucking air of fucking... I've never been more exhilarated in my life. Just like, fuck you. There are no rules. You don't have to go to ba uh, back to class. And there's too many of us for you to do fucking that and about it. Sick, right? So we're busting on down. Next thing, more teachers come out. Now the teachers start fucking arguing with each other. Like, one of them's, like, shouting at me. He's like, you can't swing or hurl at children. He's like, you shut the fuck up, Brian. You should have retired 20 years ago, you fucking cunt. Right, people are just fucking grabbing at each other, screaming. More teachers come down to try to get us again because we land down at this bottom pitch and again, cowman, do, 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 Like, to think that even the teachers, this must be their worst nightmare. Just all the fucking children to have pieces of timber a man fucking leading them who has clearly no tether to reality whatsoever, <laughs> right? Just this mad fucking half bull of a man just... Ah, da, 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 da. So next thing, we fucking charge up again past the teachers. They're trying to catch us. Now, at this stage, there's kind of like... Even the idea of society and morality and rules <laughs> has just left us. You know, we've just become these kind of... It doesn't feel like you've had much of that to begin with. No. I'll be honest with you... You're right. We were kind of like, it, it, there was something at that time. Uh, actually, it was a different time. This is like 2004, you know? Oh, it was, yeah. You know Simple what I mean? Different time. It's like the 1600s. <laughs> there was a nastiness. There was a cruelty. There was a wildness. Anton went. So like, we were kind of, we'd become like the Mongol People still army. went really over 9-11. Huh? You know what no. I mean? It was very much, an, uh, it was a hangover to 9-11. <laughs> a lot of it. A lot of it was a protest <laughs> against Bush's government and the Iraq war. Rural uh, Island. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone's got tin man. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> so we run up, and now, like I said, kind of like order has ended, morality has ended, and nastiness starts seeping in. So there was a, a, a lady, uh, a French teacher named Miss Hennessy, who decided to come out and try to help with getting us in. But she was like a fresh uh, piece of meat to the wolves. <laughs> and she didn't, as we were running by, running past up through the field, like everyone, like, ah! A fella named Heater Shady, we'll call him. Uh, Peter Brady. Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, no. <laughs> Jesus, that was quick. Peter Fucking Brady. hell. What uh, else could it possibly be? I don't be? know. I think we all thought <laughs> Peter Brady. Yeah, it could have been O'Grady. We didn't know, but you've nailed it in one there. I tried my best, Peter. But, um, so anyway... He her shady, uh, we're walking past, and he decides in the fucking Malay, the wildness, the carnival type atmosphere, he'll he'll get his own pound of flesh. So he grabs out and grabs the left buttock of Miss Hennessy. Oh, the greasy oh. ass. Yeah, the greedy hand of shady took what it thought it deserved. Right, drive by, grabbed it. <sighs> right now, at the time, of course, again, it's 2004, so we thought legend, you know, good man. Right? So he ran on. He thought I'd never come back. It did in the end. But so we run on. <clears throat> we're running past now. Now the teachers have gone uh, spared. They're all shouting threats at the students. We will. You're all going to be expelled. Blah, blah, blah. Now at this point, a weakness starts to rise up in some of the students. A cowardice. Like a poison. A poison. Spreading. And you start to see the kind Doubt. of the half men, the kite men. Men that the wind would blow away. What did we say? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Carry on. Oh, yeah. I just repeated what you said, did I? Uh, so anyway, <laughs> some lads decide that they're going to fucking hand themselves in, oh. make a plea deal, company men, <laughs> weasels, right? Shills, <laughs> men who would have drank the Queen's soup. Now, if you don't know what the Queen's soup was, back in the Irish famine, when there was lads uh, dying with grass stains around their mouth. I honestly thought mouth. you were saying men would have, who would have like licked the Queen out. I would have licked the queen out. We've said this before. I'd have fucking absolutely valeted that asshole. <laughs> I would have. Yeah. Not because I fancy it, just because I want to be able to tell people I've done it. Don't come yeah. back for an hour. 
And I'll, I'll hang a little fucking pan of an asshole as well. You know I mean? <laughs> Imagine getting to say and, and be telling the truth, I've made Queen Elizabeth squirt all over her bedroom. I'd Imagine be being able to say that though. The Ra would have my head on a spike if I did that. No. If I gave that no, woman any no. pleasure. No, that's fucking, that but is bollocks. They wouldn't want me to make her come. They'd want me to shag her, <laughs> but they certainly wouldn't want her enjoying it. They wouldn't want her eyes rolling back in her head like, uh, no way. What's the queen? They'd want me to come quick and then tell her to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the Irish Republican Army would want from me, and that's what I give to them. I give her one of the worst shags she's ever had. <laughs> Good man. I wouldn't even kiss her. <laughs> What's the queen's soup, Mike? Huh? What's the queen's so the queen's soup <laughs> is, uh, so basically back in the day, back in the Irish famine days, right? Uh, which we all know well. And uh, so that's when your ancestors would have came over to this fucking place. Not mine. Right? Not yours, you proddy cunt. But what, the rest I'm of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not all from this country. That's what I mean. If you're Catholic, Unless you're from Ireland. Man. They're the rules. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally, yeah. There you go now. Uh, sorry for calling you a proddy con, Carol. You're <laughs> hey, not. Stay is. Yeah. Stay is, right. Okay, yeah. We've said All right. Before, yeah. You're a proddy con, stay. <laughs> Orange bastard. Yeah. Uh, wrong target there. So, anyway, uh, basically, so there was people dying I I in the famine, famously. And uh, so the lads would be so hungry that they'd fucking eat the grass and there'd be grass stains on their mouth and they'd be dead on the fucking floor. And basically, the English uh, said to them, here, listen now, what we'll do is we'll give you a, a, a drop of soup if you'll agree to become Protestants, right? This was called, was called taking the Queen's soup, right? So it was Queen Victoria at the time. So they're like, that was basically you... Did she like, make it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a soup kitchen in the back. <laughs> Queen Victoria, this is what people don't know. She spent all of the 1840s in a soup kitchen <laughs> in the west of Ireland. <laughs> Thousands of these to feed. They're not, all hungry. Not uh, to be bleak, but that eating grass is rough, isn't I it? I know. The grass stains around the mouth. It's wow. fucking, it's shocking. So anyway, uh, I told this story. This is honestly, I told it to Freddie Quinn recently. And then the next time I saw him, he had grass stains around his mouth. He just, he didn't know you could eat grass. But uh, <laughs> so it just gave him ideas. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, uh, so basically, the lads that went in, they went inside to the school to make a deal, rat people out, cut a deal with the government, uh, and they went in. Weak, 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 pathetic men who'd get you killed at war, right? But the rest of us stayed out, those of us who had a little thing called integrity and courage. Uh, <laughs> we all stayed out, right? Now, what ended up happening was we ended up back on the soccer pitch, which was back uh, at the end of the school, right? And we were there. We started taking our fucking ties off, burning them. Now, at this stage like completely like all kind of semblance of decency and fucking order has dissolved. Like people have been like taking shits on pitches and <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's just, we had become kind of a, a, a pack of roving wild apes, What's you know? What's the time frame of this? Huh? So basically from two o'clock, there's only two classes left. So from two o'clock to 3.20. So it's basically an hour and 20 minutes, right? That we have to stay, stay out here. Now, some of the lads have fucking deserted and it was proper order, they would have been lined up and shot. <laughs> like in the fucking Irish War of Independence, but they are not going to go into that. So we end up at the back football pitch, right? We're burning fucking, we're burning ties. There's just like, we're all just fucking horny with fucking anti-establishment energy. We're just like, fucking yes, I knew there was no real rules. This is fucking bullshit, right? We're banging our hurls. Cowman was fucking, you know, was eating the blood of a fucking pigeon he'd eaten. He's like, ah! He probably right. had grass even yeah. when he had the option for the sausage. <laughs> Cowman. <laughs> yeah. the, the clue's in the name. <laughs> Cowman. <laughs> he loved a drop of grass. grass Chris, fed. Christmas yeah. dinner. Grass. <laughs> right? So uh, so we're there. We're burning our ties. We're fucking, we're screaming. We're like fucking uh, these wild dogs. Next thing, we'll say to protect for legal reasons, the vice mincible, uh, <laughs> Licky Ration, the vice mincible, Comes out, Ricky right? Ricky Ashen? Licky Ration. Um, but what's his real name? Ricky Bashin. Huh? I really can't say this. This guy, I've gotten in trouble with law with this guy already. So I can't actually say that this is not a joke. I can tell you that story later. It's a different one, but he is a litigious individual, right? <laughs> he likes to fucking, he likes to get the, the law involved in things. So I, I will from, say- From you talking about him on stage and stuff? <clears throat> yeah, well, the time that I got in trouble with him was because of a prank call we made on him and then he called the police and I was arrested. But I'm not even gonna, we won't go into that now. Can we guess his name? 
Well, huh? I can't imagine what it'd be like to be sued for something you've said in, <laughs> in pursuit of humor. <laughs> yeah. I know, you'll have to use your imagination on that one, Adam. But uh, <laughs> your famous imagination. Mickey Cashin. Uh, huh? Mickey Cashin. You're, you're close, but let's just leave it at that. <laughs> let's leave it there. Let's not say the name. So anyway, we're there. He comes out and he thinks in his mind that the sheer gravitas of his position as vice principal is going to strike fear into the hearts of of the rioters, and we're going to say, oh, Jesus, we were... By the way, Vice Minstable makes him sound like the <laughs> deputy leader of the gays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Vice Minstable, you know? I just Vice mince a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, what ends up happening, he comes out and he stands in front of everyone as if, like, we're all going to be like, oh, no, we've done wrong. But sure, isn't it, like, waving a red f uh, flag in front of a bull? We start going fucking ape. Everyone starts going, fuck you. And then everyone at once starts uh, chanting, ration sucks, cock. Ration sucks, cock. What do you ration want? Huh? What do you want from this situation? They, they want non-uniform day. <laughs> we want a non-uniform day. We want to wear our sweatpants. <laughs> I want to wear my United jersey. Don't take that away from us, lads. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the only thing we look forward to, is coming in our jerseys. Hundreds and of school kids tooled up and attack teachers so they could wear Man United's 99 away kit. Lads, it was a great kit. Like, we... So, basically, that was what we wanted at the start. But by the time it just kind of comes on, it was just a case of anarchy for the sake of anarchy and just you know just you can all fuck off right but so he comes out and he just stands there and like and he's just taking it like he's just like you know like so we're like rations of cock and he kind of like standing there as if he's like he will not bend but then like someone like threw like bottle of coke and it just like kind of clipped his head <laughs> <laughs> and then he had to just scurry back in had you to, lot don't scare me yeah. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> and he just scurries back into the fucking into the school minces off but so then at this stage now and uh uh Cowman is still like, you know, in full flight, you know what I mean? Um, he's now feeling like fucking Stalin or Mao Zedong or, you know, it's just he's full of the, the all the evils of power, you know? So next thing... Who's the second one after Stalin there? Huh? <laughs> Mao Zedong. Who's Mao Zedong? Mao Zedong Small was uh, the communist leader of China from uh, 1949 to yeah. the <laughs> late 70s. Chairman Mao, isn't it? Chairman Mao, yeah. Say that then. Well, sir, sure, look, I'm trying to give the full name. I'm trying to enrich all of our lives. Oh, is that Mao? Is that Chairman Mao? Chairman Mao. So Mao's just short. Yeah. I yeah. thought his first name was Chairman and his surname was Mao. <laughs> right, okay. Chairman Mao. And his full name is Mao Zedong. Our first like child Ma we shall call Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like Chinese people always have like an English name, don't they? They do a lot, yeah. Yeah. So that's Ch like when you see like a fucking Chinese fella called Ian, you're like, you're like, well, it's your fucking Jackie. It was chairman, do you know what I mean? I thought it was just lost in translation. No, nope. Mousey Mao Dong. Mao it does sound like he's got a little dick, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, and he did. He was a. He was a. Yeah, about chairman. He, he, Mao Dong. He was shagging everything that moved. Mao Dong now famously he he he. he yeah, apparently we're all released to Chairman Mao. No, it's Genghis Khan. I think you're thinking Genghis Khan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're related to Mao Zedong, but you're about the only one here. You're only related to Chairman Mao. <laughs> <laughs> like he was just pillaging the world, shagging everyone. Yeah. He was more kind Genghis of... Genghis Khan's Germans. Yeah. 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 But uh, Mao Zedong famously there at one point, he, he thought that uh, the people that were kind of out to conspire against China were the crows. And he killed in one year, he had them, uh, everyone kill all the crows in China. So like all of China was just covered in fucking dead crows. He was like, crows are the enemy of China. So crows, dead crows everywhere, right? And then, but what happened was, it turned out the crows were eating the fucking insecticides off the plant uh. to like save the plant. So once the crows were dead, all the, the plant just fucking died and they had a famine and about 20 million people died and he was like, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the crows... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe the crows were sound, fuck. Uh, but anyway, so it, it, Cowman's there, he's full of all this. Now at this point, like probably the most senior teacher in the school, former tennis pro, and PE teacher, Silly Holster, uh, comes out. Now, these are all euphemisms for sexual parts, aren't they? Silly Holster. Get your cock out and put it in my Silly Holster. <laughs> put your mouse a dong in my Silly Holster. It'd be if you had like a clown nose on your vagina, just like your Silly Holster. Uh, so he comes out in a very tanned man, luscious, curly hair, uh, a man of the 70s, you know, of, uh, you know, a man who's put his uh, willy in a lot of places. So he came out, he's tanned, he used to have a jag, like a fucking 
beautiful Jaguar is a big fuck off to the rest of the teachers. He's way richer than the rest of the teachers. But he came out anyway and he silly holster taught, listen, I'm a former semi-tennis pro. I, these boys uh, will surely kneel to my authority. So he comes out, right? And he's like, hey, boys. He had this like weird <laughs> transatlantic accent. He's like, hey, boys, enough of the horse play. We've had enough of this now, boys. Silly holster. He also here. used to commentate on baseball games in the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> So he came out and he was like, hey now, <laughs> like enough of this, boys, right? And, like, and he's saying this to lads who have shit on pitches, who have just like literally, you know, ties are burning. They're like, ah, he's like, enough now, boys. So next thing anyway, this, uh, this was Pitch fucking, this was, this was not enough for fucking Cowman. Cowman yeah, literally on a dime, throws his pants to the floor, turns around and shows his bare arse to Billy Holster. Then he spreads his arse cheeks. It's Billy, and, is it, yeah? And now this is not a fucking clean arse. You know what I mean? It's not a clean arse. Cowman! <laughs> you think Cowman's fucking... And he soiled his poo. Huh? <laughs> There'd be bits of that kind of thing up there. You know what I mean? Cowman's not, is not a diligent fucking cleaner. Do you know what I mean? He gives it a wipe and he says, ah, the hell, <laughs> right? Doesn't even look at it, just throws it against the wall and fucking moves on. So he spreads his arse cheek to Silly Holster. Now, I swear to God, I've never seen a whiter arse in my life. There was a shine off, like this was, this him showing his arse to Silly Holster, to me is like a Che Guevara moment. <laughs> like it was like, is the symbol of freedom, of anti-establishment, of individualism of... This is his arse you're talking Fuck the man, his arse. Now, his arse was so white, like I said I've to you I've never heard a man describe another man's arse with any of those... It was... Before. His arse was an emblem for what it means to be human. So, his arse was there, and I swear to God, his arse was so pale, there was like this shine off his arse, like, oh... It was like, do you know in uh, Pulp Fiction when they lift up the suitcase, <laughs> and it's like, oh... Like that, it was like that. We were all like, whoa, what the fuck? And to give fucking uh, Silly Holster's Jew... Billy. Fucking, ah, fuck. You said that before. Did I? Oh, yeah. dear, dear, shit. But so silly holster, he didn't fucking, he didn't look away. He looked down at it like it was the eye of Sauron and he was, you know, stared into the arse of Cowman, which couldn't have been pleasant. But I suppose he was a semi-tennis pro. the fourth of the ring, by the way. <laughs> the the, the arse of Cowman. <laughs> 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 so uh, anyway it goes the hobby the, the three you've seen and this is coming out next year <laughs> lord of the ring yeah, that's, gonna, of yeah, that's gonna ring isn't it yeah so holster fucking holster stared down the fucking the arse of cowman cowman pulled back up his britches and then holster kind of sadly walked away but at this stage cowman's parents have been called and also the the window of time in which the riot can even exist is closing because once the last bell rings then our cause is uh, lost, do you know? So anyway, uh, the, the bell ends up ringing. Everyone just kind of like disperses. Cowman gets fucking brought in by his parents arrive. Cowman gets basically like Christ. You know, he kind of died for our sins. Cowman takes the brunt of all this, the, the punishment. Now he does it with, with, with dignity and, um, you know, and a kind of a, an acceptance that really kind of made the rest of us be like, wow, that's a fucking leader. I remember I got into the car because you just had, we had to just leave then. My mother was collecting me, you know, and I got I got into the car and I remember. Sorry, lads, I can't do any more revolutions today. Me tea's ready. <laughs> my mum's <my mom's> <laughs> me, me done a spag ball. I saw, oh. I'll come back and overthrow the school government yeah. tomorrow, but yeah. she's got garlic bread and everything, mate. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> so I got in the car with my mother and she was like, and sure, I was just like covered in like. You know, uh, clay. I'd, you know, uh, I, I had no tie. She's like, "Where's your tie?" And why do you look like you've seen Matty Cowman's asshole? You know, um, <laughs> your mum recognised that look. On she your face. knew that look. <laughs> oh, most women in, in Kilkenny had seen Cowman's hole by that stage. He was, he wasn't shy to give people a peek. He'd do it there beside the Christmas tree in the centre of town. But Can't um, wait to put me Christmas tree up, you know. <laughs> I'm not even messing. This place at Christmas just gets so much better. Ooh, two weeks, baby. It's so much blah, blah, Christmas energy coming up my ass. Coming oh. up my Matty Cowman. Oh, out oh, your Matty Cowman. Matty Cowman for the rest of my life. But so the next, the next fucking week then anyway, they, they came in and like every teacher came into class and it was the end of an era. Mad Lad ended up get, leaving at the end of that year. They, they brought in this new fucking disciplinarian called Curtis who just like had us all by the balls. Like his whole fucking mission was to clean this school up. Like this place has gone fucking insane. So like every- To be fair to him. Yeah. Not that I'm on the side of the teachers in any way. Yeah. But 
it, it had, like, it, that's... No. He it, read it well. He no. Read it well. When lads are shitting on the pitch openly... Play ball. Things play have ball. gone a little astray. If there's shit on the pitch, <laughs> she's game. <laughs> <laughs> like the seven murderers in our year in school. Huh? Our year in school. School year had seven, has seven murderers. Convicted murderers for mine and Carl's year group. Not Ka like the whole school, not yeah. like in history. Now, Cowman's never been caught, but <laughs> you'd have to assume he's taken a life <laughs> or two at this stage. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So these seven murderers, like, what are we... What are we talking like? Like what? murder, like they'd kill people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they, were, what? Their actions resulted in the loss of a life. Right? No, I don't mean like that. But like, do you have any like juicy fucking? No. You said seven murders. You need to. I'm not talking about any of the cases. Right. A chance. But you can throw on names like I did. Nope. You saw the clever wordplay I did there to keep my hands yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah. I've got to be legally. honest though. Do you know the way every time you said one, we yeah. could immediately guess what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be quite yeah. concerned doing that with seven convicted murderers, some of whom will be out soon. Right. No, no. To be fair, you've, <laughs> you've, got, you've got you've got me by the balls there. Just but, go uh, on the Echo website. There's probably like a fucking link to all of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I've been asked to go back to our school. I seen a, a lab we went to, I won't name him in case he doesn't want his, his business out there, but uh, a sporty lad. Uh, okay, I think I know you mean. You'll know what I mean. At the back? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's now working back at Cardellinen. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I he's seen him at the, uh, at the Liverpool game the other day. He's like Miss Smith. They were going through like former students. And they were like, oh, I, I don't know anyone who knows Adam and Jack. Was like, uh, <laughs> he was like, I know Adam. Uh, <laughs> it's Jack Backhouse. He's a good lad. <laughs> <laughs> he's like... Um, Oh, like he, he's dead busy. I know he's on tour at the minute, but I just said, I'll go back in. He's like, yeah, just come and speak to the kids and stuff. But I've been asked to do this before. And I was like, I don't think you want me to, because what I'm going to do is go, I tried at school and then used none of it. So just don't try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you haven't used any academia, so that's surely a really bad role model to go into a school. Maybe, but also I, I think they want to show some of the kids like that there's an alternative. Like if you're not doing well, maybe they want me to speak to the ones who are obviously aren't going to pass They want everything. you to be like whispering the ear of a cowman. Yeah. Or, uh, you know what I mean? And you can put Channel this... this energy into creativity. Into creativity, no, But you were the smart lad in school. I know, yeah. So you're not even that either, are you? No. You're not even like, I was no, stupid. No, but, but that's who they want me to talk to, I think. Yeah. I don't think they want me to go up to all the people who are going to get straight A's and go, listen, just so you know, doesn't really matter. Go be a comedian instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do what I did. Nail everything with no revision and then leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like when... It's, it's like when... Uh, 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 like someone like... Messi, now I'm not necessarily comparing you to Messi, but like, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Do. But like, as in like, what's he going to come in and tell for like, it's like, yeah, you go, go be a, do you know what you do lads? Go be a famous, successful person. It's like, how do you, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, what can you, what can you tell them? I mean, you know to be I mean? fair, the fact that, I mean, this is going back, what, 15 years we've been in school now? Yeah. Nearly half of our life, fuck. Yeah. Wow. Um, Jeez, I remember when I was, uh, when I was back home there now, I, uh, my peer, my mother just told me we had a fella that died called um, Henry Monk. You wouldn't have heard of him now, but he was Henry uh, Monk. Huh? <laughs> no, Henry Monk is Henry Monk is this guy's actual name. Oh, right. But he used to. It reminded me of a story because he used to work on our. He used to work on our farm, right? I was like just a, a fella who helped out, but he's real hunched over, kind of like he was like a kind of a cockroachy kind of fella. He had this like kind of handlebar mustache, and do you know, like a lad that it just like, there's not enough water in the world to wash him. You know, he's just fucking. But he used to he used to talk in this way where he'd just be like, so Wellingtons, wellies are what we wear out in the yard to, so that your feet don't get covered. And he'd say, where my Wellingtons? I need my Wellingtons. He'd always talk like that, where my Wellingtons? And he'd never smile. He was always just hunched over like this. But he's a <laughs> fucking <laughs> odd fucker, right? But what he used to do at dinner, like we'd have dinner and he'd just be eating like potatoes and meat, like whatever, you know. And he used to take, like, it'd be a pound of butter. He'd literally take half the pound of butter and just throw it on the thing. And we'd all be like, lad, you can't be taking all the fucking, and then he'd be like, what's wrong with you? He just had a bit of butter, right? <laughs> now, one day, right? This is apps. This is true, right? We left a cow, a dead cow, got left out in in our yard. Now, basically, what happens when dead cow gets left out is a fucking a knacker comes, right? No, a knacker is the actual technical term for a fella that collects dead animals and puts them in a fucking uh, yard and then shags them or whatever he does. <laughs> but that's what he does. He takes dead animals away. That's his job. So that's a that's a technical term. So he the the knacker 
doesn't come and collect the fucking dead cow, right? Uh, he's, I don't know, he goes to a Bruce Springsteen concert. He does something. He's I don't knackered. know. He's what? Na- he's knackered. He's knackered. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's doing Pilates. I don't know what he's doing. So he started... Uh, <laughs> he's doing Pilates on a yeah, Bruce Springsteen, Springsteen concert. concert. <laughs> the first things that came to your left. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen's playing in my hometown in Kilkenny in May. It's just in my mind, you know. Are you going to see him? Uh, yeah. Born in the oh, USA. fucking sick. That's what he's the it? best. Yeah. Oh. But so anyway, the dead cow was left out in in the yard. Um, uh, so one day anyway, I come out 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 to the yard. I'm just walking out to the uh, farmyard um, to do a few jobs or whatever. And Henry Monk is standing over the cow, right? And he has the cow's, I swear on my life, eyeball in his mouth, and he's biting on it like this. And he didn't he didn't know anyone else was there, so I just stood and stopped, and then he just looked up at me when he when he saw me coming and he died on his night and he just said could you go and get me a bit of butter <laughs> and he has to go and i literally just fucking like was like yeah yeah and just ran back into the house and i told my dad was inside i told him and my father was just like he said i he said i just stopped he said just don't don't ever repeat that again he's a great worker <laughs> <laughs> he was eating dead cat oh, can, we eat a bit of butter? Huh? can you say they both a line again huh you, can you give me a bit of butter? <laughs> can you get me a bit of butter? You he had an Amish. eyeball in his Amish. mouth. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you look Amish. <laughs> so much, but Did you do well at school? Huh? Yeah, I did all right, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Because I was suspended. <laughs> I would, why did you say it like that? <laughs> I'm not that. D- I'm dumb in like all life ways, but I'm not actually like, I'm actually like, uh, Book you smart, know. smart, not street smart. Huh? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, but uh, I... No, I did. I did all right in school. I terribly behaved. Like yeah. I, I got, I got fucking uh, suspended five times. I nearly got expelled that time that we pranked Licky Ration, um, because so basically we went on a fucking we went on a ski holiday. Uh, to but the thing was it was outside of the school, right? So it was, I imagine so, yeah. So this guy, so our teacher, <laughs> a teacher called Grim Grim Yahoo. Uh, so Grim Yahoo used to run this uh, <laughs> ski holiday every year. This is true now. He used to run this ski holiday every year, but in, in the... It, <laughs> <Tim. laughs> but in the post-riot clear-out, Grim Yahoo got shown the door. He was like, he was seen as a relic of the past that was leading to this wildness. Because Grim Yahoo was a French teacher who'd literally come in uh, he ran a pub as well, so he'd just be hung over the fuck, and he just he taught French or he was from France. No, no, Grimia, who was not from France, lad. <laughs> Grimia, who was from the furthest place away from France, he's from like fucking Australia. the back of the this South Australian Grim Yahoo Grim Yahoo Fucking Grim Yahoo Fucking Yahoo right? mate uh, So uh, But anyway Grim Yahoo He literally He was a PE teacher But he's a French teacher Where he'd literally come in And he'd just go He'd just go look He'd say If you fucking If you say nothing You'll have to do nothing And then he just <laughs> Put his hand like that, and he'd just go to sleep on the desk. And he'd also, he'd teach us pee, and he'd just throw us, he'd just throw us the football. He's like, make your teams have a game. And he'd just go sit in his car and, and smoke fags and think about his divorce. But- That's like the best so, teacher ever. Oh, he was sick. Yeah. I love Grim Yahoo. So anyway, Grim Yahoo gets kind of Is pushed- Is Tim McGoo? Huh? No, 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 no. Uh, Jim? No. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, but leave it there. Come on now. The Jim man- Baloo. Huh? The man is dead. The man is dead. Oh, you can't libel the Cowman dead. killed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't, can't libel the dead. Libel the dead. Slumber. Slumber. Nah, he, was a, he was a good man. Can you not libel the dead? Is that no, a, you can't a thing? slander That's the dead, true. though. Is that right? Really? Yeah. yeah. So is, is that, that why everyone we like about dead people? Is yes. that why everyone's yeah. been so hard on Jimmy Savile? <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> ah, for fuck's sake. They didn't have the guts to say it when he was alive. Who's taking you to court? Oh, you can't defame the dead. Same thing. Yeah. So I can't, like, come on here and say, I don't know. Michael Parkinson used to finger dogs. He can, yeah. Uh, can and he his did. Estate be like, hey, you know, we never. <laughs> no, he did. He did. Parky did finger dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Just Michael Parkinson. That's when. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, Brian, Bob. That's that's as rotten a thing as I've heard in a while. Um, <laughs> Michael Parkinson. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, so Grim Yahoo anyway, so what he would do is he he organized this skiing trip outside of like outside of the school. So he would wait outside the school, like outside the school gates. He wasn't allowed inside the school gates and we would come out and give him cash money for this trip. I don't know how we convinced our parents to let us do it. So then anyway, 
we end up going on this trip and it's us, we're the fourth year. So we're about like 15 going on 16 and the fifth years who are like 16 going on 17. And uh, we're all going over there. Now there's no real teacher. So like, cause he doesn't work for the school anymore. Also, he's nearly dead. Is it just and he's, him? Huh? Just him. No, and he had his two, he had his son and his friend who know each other from AA, but they fell off the wagon during the trip. <laughs> so, uh, so <laughs> this is, this is, I swear to Where God. Where is this? Where's the uh, skiing? So Andorra, we go to Andorra. There was some special kind of trip. This is my first time ever on a plane, right? And I, I couldn't believe it. it was unreal. But so we go over anyway. Now, what so happens, I don't know if you had this in year school, but the fifth year is the year ahead of us now. There was a fucking, there was a nastiness and a cruelty to these men that had no mother or father. You just don't know where they got it, but they just, their whole thing was to fucking torture the fourth years who were lads underneath. So we were all staying in these fucking, like four different cabins. But one day we went to the town of Andorra and I don't know why, but there's a fucking weapon shop there. There's a weapon shop where you can go in, you can get pepper spray, you can get fucking batons, pellet guns, all this shit. So we all go in there and we come out of there like the fucking IDF. You know what I mean? <laughs> like we're fucking armed to the teeth coming out of there. Like you swear that we were going to fucking, you know what I mean? Head into underground invasion of Gaza. So we leave the fucking shop. I'm sure we can cut that. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm just doing a comparison yeah, yeah, that's yeah. relevant Can to I? now. So we come out there. Everyone's fucking armed to the fucking gills. Now I end up, I started in one cabin. I had to leave because I woke up and one of the fifth years had their like uh, cock in my face and they were like, take that you little fucking gay cunt. I was like, this, this is, you know, that's pot calling the kettle black here. <laughs> the day cabin. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so he was like that, but I ended up having to, to move anyway. But sure, one night there was just like a full on fucking siege. Like they fucking, they battened, they closed our entrance door so we couldn't come out. They pepper sprayed the place. Then they climbed up around into our back patio, came in with fucking pellet guns. They were fucking, they had tasers as well. They were tasing lads. Tasers? Yeah. There was lads shitting themselves. Like there was lads, lads like just from the trauma. Like it was like fucking being in like the battle of the Somme, like in the trenches, lads were shitting themselves. They were shell shocked. The lads <laughs> falling off fucking ladders. It was just, it was just fucking insane, right? But in it was, a ski resort in Andorra. Yeah, in a ski resort in Andorra. <laughs> and Trishuk fucking Ow. Grim, <laughs> in a ski resort. Grim Yahoo and his, his son were, his sons were busy falling off the wagon, probably trying to source fucking coke. Grim Yahoo was drinking whiskey like a little sucky calf. They were off away. They left us off to our, our own what devices. Your cows? In, in, huh? What do you do with your cows in Ireland? Well, sure, we give them, we give, we let them have a bit of fun before we're going to make burgers out of them. But uh, so, <laughs> look, we give them a good life is what we do, if you must know. So anyway, uh, so this whole fucking thing happens. There's a ship, but I was turning 16 at the time. And that was a people, I don't know what if you had this, but it was like a crime to have your birthday when we were young, like as in like, it's your, oh, it's his birthday. Let's do something awful to him. Oh, you yeah. beat you know him what up? Mean? Yeah. Beats, yeah. So, beats. So that's you got right. A, you got a beef for every year, old you and an extra one. Yeah. So if you were 16, you got 16 punches and then a the 17th for good luck. And yeah. I was off each person. Yeah, 100%. Now what they decide to do to me is- how bad your arms would be on your birthday. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So oh. they, uh, they held me down and they shaved my eyebrows off first. Now, my mistake when they shaved my eyebrows off is that I didn't, uh, kick up enough of a stink. I should have maybe started crying or I should have acted like it was really bad, but I decided to try play it cool. And I was just like, ah, who cares? Like, fuck it. And then they're like, we haven't upset him enough at all. So do you know what I mean? Like you yeah, need, yeah, yeah. You, I needed to have been like, oh, that's really bad. It's terrible, you know? And um, so next thing then they fucking, they, they got me again a little while later. And I think they like, they pepper sprayed my eyes and like pulled me down the ground. <laughs> what and the then fuck? they, I know, yeah. And I was like, ask ah. it was sound, you know? Yeah, yeah. I know. Fine. Like seven murderers, is, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. And that was all after the fact, though. We don't yeah. need that left by that. But so they held me down, and they tried. It to... does feel mad we were in five years of very close proximity to that level of evil, though. Yeah, mm. it is wild. Well, these lads, like, have yeah. you, you've never thought of it that way, have you? No, I like thought you with loads of them. Yeah, but there was just a nasty. In general, in our school, like it was just like good banter or crack was just doing like shitting in someone's school bag like you know it was just like that was what was that's the way things is that went. why you shit in Hattie Preston's 
baffling on the car yesterday. She's like, hey. I just thought Still, yeah, but, uh, good, good banter, yeah. <laughs> That's why she on her towels. Uh so uh but so they held me down then again and and this and they like pepper spray me. So I was like, ah and then they held me down and they tried to shave with a razor like zzz, like gay into my head. <laughs> 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 they tried to shave gay into my head, but I was like at this age I was biting and spitting and everything. And then my friends who were there, like they were just kind of like they they kind of watched watched on because they couldn't if they knew if they got in they were gonna have gay shaved onto their head but i remember my friend uh like jack did try he got like a baton and tried to fucking like fight him and and like they just fucked and like fucked him up they were just they were cruel miserable men but then and this is the worst thing to like try then still for me to try curry favor back with these uh fellas they we found out that they had the number to vice Mincibal licky ration right so they're like we're gonna fucking prank licky ration and then i tried to like to be mates with the older lads like even though like they've you know defiled my head um i was like oh sure look i was like give me the fucking number i'll, I'll ring licky ration right and we'll fucking prank him so we call up licky ration's number but it goes to voicemail so it goes beep and we all just shout in you suck cock you fucking shag horses you stupid cunt your fucking mother is a fucking uh bush you're a dumb cunt you did 9-11 whatever like we were just like <laughs> ever and just screaming down the phone at him for i'd say like three minutes and then we just thought ha ha nice one like hung it up right now i didn't know very easy to trace voice calls right <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah 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 very yeah. easy to trace voice calls also it came up where's the call come from andorra <laughs> <laughs> the place where all these cunts are on a ski holiday like it couldn't have been any more fucking obvious so a couple of weeks later after i had gotten back no eyebrows half of gay shaved into my head i'm up uh, I'm up doing a work experience with mechanics up the road from me, right? So I'm working in mechanics. Now, they fucking hate me because I'm fucking useless. So they just literally just kind of get me to stand around the side of the shed for the seven hours I have to be there. Uh, so I was just there anyway. I was like playing Snake on my phone or something. And uh, and I get a call on my phone. And I answer the call and a fella says, he says, uh, he says, I'm after finding a phone here and your number is the first uh, number that came up on the phone. I'm wondering, do you know who owns this phone? And I goes, oh, no, no, I don't. And nothing came up there now. And then he goes, oh, what's your name anyway? And I goes, uh, Michael Rice. And he goes, and where do you live? And I was like, Greenridge, Kilkenny. And that's where I live. And then, then he just goes, thank you, hung up. Five minutes later, I got a call from my mother. She's like, yeah, the, the guards just rang the police. You have to come in there Monday. Uh, you have to come in for a meeting on you Monday. No, you can't get arrested for prank call. Or me and him would be saving 25 to yeah, life. Yeah, I'd be in fucking heavy neck, but, mate. But what they did was, so they brought me in to the guard station to the main members of the drug squad in the in Kilkenny Garda station sat me down just me and them they played me the voice message and they were like <laughs> and they're like this is serious harassment this is abuse this is like they named all these fucking things I think it can only technically class as abuse if he actually does shag horses uh, but I think I think, I think they did it, a, I, mean? yeah. I think they had evidence that he did <laughs> I think they had a horse that was willing to testify <laughs> uh that Licky Ration had been bumming him uh <laughs> <laughs> but so anyway they're like they're like this they're like they're like you this is abuse this is harassment da, da, da. this is your number I wonder da, da. how they'd make a horse answer in the affirmative because if he just says nay then it sounds like saying nay <laughs> say nay if he bummed you nay <laughs> yeah just give him to whatever two nays for yes <laughs> <laughs> nay nay <laughs> <laughs> but so anyway they're interrogating me and they uh and I just start bawling, crying, like, I'm like, oh, I didn't mean to do it. This is not how I... I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> but, like, I'm still... Three sitting, minutes. But, like, I'm sitting there... Oh, I didn't mean this. I didn't mean... No, I'm, I'm making a mistake here. But, hey, you fucking horse dragon cunt! <laughs> but, like, I didn't mean that. But no. to be fair... <laughs> I, accident. But oh. to be fair to me, I'm sitting there with no eyebrows, half of gay shaved into my head. Like, I'm not Al Capone, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I am the bottom bitch of this operation so like but they got me to try name name like they're like look if you like it was so stupid as a prank call they're like if you name names we can get this <laughs> sentence reduced <laughs> you know what i mean like we can John we can maybe over here? yeah we can give you maybe get you into witness protection program and like <laughs> you know but i wouldn't i didn't fucking i didn't rat i was like i was like no i can't like i can't be a fucking i can't be a snitch like i can't tell on him so i just said i i just it's, i just kept pleading i was like i was drunk i can't remember da, 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 da. so then i got brought in so i was in school next day i went into school got brought into the principal's office and he's like literally he's like if no one else 
comes forward with this, you're getting expelled. You're getting kicked out of school. That's in so I'd already been suspended a rake of times um, for like, you know. Such a rat tactic that. Do you remember when they asked yeah. you, like if someone had like threw a plane at the teacher yeah. or like a ball, they'd be like, right, either someone tells me you did it or the whole class has to stay. Yeah. yeah. And then the whole class is like, oh my God, just tell. We all know who it was, just tell her you did it. We can't grass on you. Just yeah. tell her and then they're just there going. It's very no. clever though, isn't it? You punish, <laughs> you punish the group for one and then that person is like a dickhead and then. Yeah. It's very clever. Yeah. It never worked though. We'd all just sit there for 10 minutes and be like, we've got another lesson. You can't hold us. <laughs> yeah. All we're doing now is not learning. Yeah, so yeah. carry on. Cool. We'll, yeah. we'll all just stay here <laughs> and not do maths because you've got another class waiting outside to come in here. Come on. <laughs> so basically then I had to like plead with a few of the lads to come forward. Like I was like, look, I'm going to get expelled. And to be fair, two of them and loads, there was probably about 10 lads there that were shouting on the phone. Two of the lads came forward to like get me off the hook, which was fucking sound um gilly and brett were the two lads they came forward giving their fucking due good lads so they came forward and got me off the hook but licky ration from then on he couldn't believe i didn't get expelled like he wanted me fucking out like so, snape yeah so he would just like snape lad <laughs> rise <laughs> you know rise <laughs> the potions master licky ration uh i don't think i've seen that Harry Potter. Uh, <laughs> rise! <laughs> But so, a licky ration anyway, uh, but so he would then for the rest of my time in school, he would try to like concoct cases to try to get me, like try to frame me for things. And, huh? Did he want to fuck your mom? Um, I think if he had any sense, he did. She was a beautiful woman. He but, always. But, yeah. Betsy Rice is a very, very handsome woman. Yeah. Is she? Yeah. She's still with us? Yeah, she is still with us. Is she Gr single? No, well, she's not, but like she's with a man who eats raw sausages every morning, so... She's waiting for anyone to give her a <laughs> ticket out of here. That's a no, 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 no. <laughs> no, my father, and that's why my father had a sympathy for Henry Monk eating the eyes of the cow because my father eats raw sausages. Oh, you talking about your actual dad? My dad, yeah, yeah. Your mum and dad are still together? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he wow. eats raw they sausages. They will be. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He eats raw sausages now only when he can. Like if my mother isn't there to cook him sausages, and he just, she's just, he looks at the sausages for a while and he just goes, oh fuck it, I'm just. Rawr. You know what I mean? Just gobbles them. But then like one day I came in, he had uh, raw sausages in the sandwich and he was like, Dad, and I was like, Dad, don't eat raw sausages. And he just went running off around the house eating his raw sausages, you know? But you, he's... you know, when you, the more you tell me about your life, the yeah. more you make sense. Is <laughs> yeah. it like you're living a circus? <laughs> yeah, well, sure, look, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was a fun, it was a fun upbringing, but it was also chaotic because my father is absolutely mental, you know, so... He was eating raw sausages, but he'd be also, he's, he's a baby, you know, he just loves um, ice cream and cans of Coke, but he also then has tantrums. He just goes into the press and just like throws the plates <laughs> underground and shit. You know what I mean? Like, uh, <laughs> we need the plate. Yeah, yeah, Big Baba. We do. That was 55 minutes. <laughs> that's normally like two sections. Yeah, that's it, part three coming up. Um, yeah, M more to come. Press the big red button. See, lads, big red button. What's happening, lids? How are we? Time to tell you about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's Fume. That's spelled F-U-M, but pronounced like there's an E on the end, but the E isn't there. Try Fume.com slash have a word and you get 20% off the journey pack today. That's try F-U-M.com slash have a word. Use the promo code have a word to get 20% off the journey pack. Now, look, if you're looking to break, uh, you know, a bad habit, well, I don't know whether it's, you know, wh whatever you've got going on, this can really help you. Not only is it a really cool design, right? It's very well weighted, tastes really nice, really refreshing. It's a natural ingredient to help you break your habits. And also, a big part of habits is like the fidgeting and stuff, and this is really good. And you look cool using it, you know what I mean? Uh, Trifume.com slash have a word. 20% off the journey pack today. How we are, man. It's time to tell you about our favorite sponsor. It's Manscaped. Ah, sort your balls out for proper hairy and your wife's biff. It's out of control. <laughs> I'm still gun. The handyman. <laughs> like your uncle Kev. How are the lids? It's time to tell you about our favourite sponsor, our longest standing sponsor. It's fine, Manscaped, man. Yeah, really good for like your pubes and shit, but also the pubes on your face. Absolutely. Listen, Balloween's coming up, and absolutely, you're going to shave your balls for Balloween, aren't you? Is it Hall Halloween or, or is it a specific one for. Because you can do your bollocks with the. Uh, with the lawnmower, you can do your bollocks, but they're now doing face stuff as well, aren't they? You That's get one the my... cleanest shave yeah. you've ever had with this. Oh, it's no amazing. I'm scared of you, mate, with your clean shaven face and with the handyman. You can do, you know, your little stubbly neck if you don't want to use like the full razor for. You've got a handyman now. And with the promo code WEIRD20, you get 20% off and free shipping wherever you are in the world. 
you didn't run corn, free shipping. You didn't Timbuktu, free shipping. Malawi, <laughs> free shipping. Run corn, Timbuktu and Malawi. The Beard Hedger Pro Kit is my favorite bit of kit that uh, Manscaped have brought out. It's unbelievable. The scissors are amazing. Everything you get with it is quality. I feel my beard game has improved and it's because of this. Genuinely, stop buying your dad, stop buying your fucking brother shit presents for Christmas or Balloween. Absolutely. Since I got given this package, my sizzling game has gone through the roof. Been doing a lot. Yeah, can see it, yeah. Word 20, 20% off. Free shipping worldwide from Runcorn to Malawi. And Timbuktu. Uh, welcome back to part two of four of this week's Have A Word podcast with me, Adam Rowe, and Dan Nightingale. Um, how Hello. You doing? That's my Dan. <laughs> Do it again. Hello. Uh, I'm Dan. How's, uh, how's the wife and kids? Huh? They're all dead. Fucking terrible. They're all dead. Yeah. Yeah. They went over to Ukraine. What is mum's dad? Have you met Dan? Do you remember him? Yeah, I'm Dan Nightingale. <laughs> <Shoot, laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm comedian. I've got family. Where the fuck's he going? I don't know. There's a pigeon outside. There's a pigeon outside? There's a pigeon in the lobby. And he's, what Dan am I going to do? <laughs> um, I'm Dan. I've done lot, lot cocaine. I've done lot cocaine. It's uncanny. The hair <laughs> is the only giveaway. <laughs> Yeah, is that Dan? No, it's not. It's Mike with a speech impediment. It's Mike Rice. It's only messing, lads. It's me all along. <laughs> Wild. Finn. Yes. We've got, some, we've got a question. Okay. This is from Nick. Uh, hi, Lid. So I've been reading about an odd thing in Liverpool on Bold Street called Time Slips, where people have experienced going back in time. I was wondering what your thoughts on it is. Is it all bullshit <laughs> or is there something paranormal going on? And if you could choose to have a time slip, when and where would you want it to be? That last bit is such a stupid addendum. Um, I used to work there. It James isn't. Foley, uh, internet AUB good yeah, yeah. superstar. Uh, he was talking about this when we were walking, when we were doing the Liverpool special, that he eventually was not in uh, for... Uh, Legal reasons. Reasons. <laughs> <Just> apartheid. Reasons. <laughs> yeah. uh, for Scouse apartheid. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, apparently on Bold Street, near where the old bookshop was, which I think is now Cafe Nero, uh, some people, as they're walking past that, will be transported into the 1960s, um, at least for a while, and then they come out the other side of it. Mm. Um, uh, it hasn't happened to me, and mm. I frequent Bold Street quite a lot. Mm. Uh, I walked down Bold Street this morning. No, not this morning, but uh, the other morning. It, it's like, it, it, it's bollocks, isn't it? Time travel. Time travel is possible, because we're time traveling constantly. We're all traveling through time. Yeah. 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 Like, the mirror yeah, yeah. is a time machine, because you're seeing what's oh. happening, like... The fraction of a second after it. Light happened. coming to your eyes. Mike, here's a question. Yeah. Do you travel through time or does travel does time travel past you? So like if you've got so if you know like when you were coming in here and you're yeah. like, oh, I'm going on and have a word, I'm gonna help coast it. Are you moving towards being here or is this or was this event like coming to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. It, it's like, your perception of time. So right. On Sunday coming up, say you're going out. Yeah. Are you moving towards that event or is that event moving towards I'm you? moving towards that event. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm moving through time. Is this, do, did they ask what, what our ideal time period would be to go back no, to? No, but, but I would like you to answer that question, yeah. I would like to go back to the the Irish War of Independence. And I would like to, hopefully, I would like to, I'd like to die but after, like, but like, in heroically, heroically, I'd like to die heroically in War of Independence. I'd like to, if I could take one person back with me, I would take Cowman. <laughs> and if me and Cowman could die for our country, I would like. Because do you know about the Black and Tans? Yeah, you know about them. Yeah, right. They live in Ireland. So I'd like to, I'd like to kill. They were the nastiest, cruelest men. They were men that were kind of shell shocked from World War One that were sent over to Ireland during the Irish War of Independence, and they were like setting people on fire and feeding women to dogs and doing all sorts of shit. Now that might be propaganda to just get Irish people riled up, but we fucking hate black and tans. Do you know that song? Come out, ye black and tans. Come out and fight me like a man. Da 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 da. da. I'd like to go back in time and write. Song for you, so. <laughs> that was our. <laughs> Yeah, you're a <laughs> 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 oh fuck that's so funny uh, <laughs> um so uh do you know that we were we we used to win the eurovision so much do you, do you remember that father ted episode that it's based on we used to win the eurovision so much 
That, that cowman is really close. And yeah. that cowman is far, far away. away. <laughs> <laughs> nice ref. God, there is a bit of the Dougals to me, but... Um, yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what's his face? Uh, but so in that episode, they're kind of making fun of the fact Ireland kept winning the Eurovision because we're just... We're songbirds, you know. We love. Oh them. yeah, yeah. We're we're good comedians at, and musicians, basically yeah. just a very uh, 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 plighted people who yes, like art comes from that, doesn't it? That's right. But there's the, no one who was born into middle class or like into upper class who creates good stuff. Sweden, there's very no rarely. Funny people from Sweden. No, there? no, no. They're miserable, good-looking, punctual cunts, quite frankly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, it, but the problem is in Ireland now this next generation because the Celtic Tiger the economic boom that happened in the 90s there's a lot there's kind of Ireland's has quite a bit of money now Dublin's ridiculous yeah it's the, the expensive it's the most expensive city to live in Europe it's horrid and it's rotten the, the transport is shit the weather is shit there's not it's it, great though huh it's fucking it's great it's great on a night out it's yeah. great it's great to visit day drinking in Dublin yes oh. <laughs> yes, nice. It's nice. No, I was a I I, I was a boozy Susie last weekend in Dublin. I had a, a grand old time, but that I was will... the first time me and you ever hung out there. Yeah, we didn't really know each other back then. We'd met, I think, once, maybe twice. Yes, just like briefly. That's right. And then I was doing the laughter lounge, and I just text the uh, the booker from the international bar, which is a small comedy night with no microphone. You just go on and just do your thing, and you were on. I just went down and dropped in after I'd done me proper gig. And I went out with him and I'd never, so all I drink now is Guinness. Yeah. It's all I drink. Like I, I don't really like beer. I don't want it. Like I'll have it if I've, I'm drinking for the sake of it, but I don't enjoy it really. Yeah. I'd never liked it up until I went out with you and I'll never forget this. Like <laughs> you're on the bill. You're like, oh, we'll go for a pint. And we walk into this boozer and you just went uh, two Guinness. And I went, Mike, I don't drink Guinness. And you went, yeah, you do. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I <laughs> I, because he doesn't know the creaminess of the pints in Dublin. It's just, yes. Would, it, you were right as well. Because I every St. Paddy's Day over yeah. here, I used to try and have a Guinness. And I'd get about a third of the way and I'd be like, ah, it's not for me. And then it was that pint. I was like, fuck me. And that drink made me like Guinness back here. Yeah. It's mad like a gateway. Well, so the Guinness thing, there is something in Irish people... 25, about 25 years of age before that, when you're young and you taste Guinness for the first time, you're like, geez, that tastes like my fucking grand aunt's snatch. You're like, that's disgraceful. Um, it's good that uh, you know what that tastes like. Yeah. Well, I know, certainly know what it smells like. But, um, uh, so you're like, oh, that's... Was that no. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she, she w would wear very airy uh, skirts. But, um, We'd all be at dinner and we'd be like, Jesus Christ, and Monk would be there eating the butter. But, uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, but when you're like, when I was younger, you taste Guinness for the first time, you're like, Jesus Christ, that's some bitter fucking shite. Horrible. How are people drinking that? Something happens, particularly Irish people, once you turn 25, suddenly it's, it tastes like fucking the jizz of the angels. Yeah. You just can't it's just believe the best it. Fucking... It's the best thing ever. It's, it is the best thing ever. And then when I turn... And all of these, like these fucking little... No, not you, but him. No. You. No, you listen, fucking... you. Listen, it's a nice drink. It's not a personality treat. No, it isn't. That's all I'm saying. No, no, but you're projecting right. that. No, I'm not. I don't think it's a personality trait. I'm saying people do think it is. I think they're, they're, what's happened is there's been like trendy young women now are, are drinking big fat pints again as thinking it's, I don't know, subversive or something or that they're like, you know, they're like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? They're like, they're like this. And it's like, I'm a man. It's like, shut the fuck up. Well, yeah, your one drinks it, does she? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And let's be honest, you don't like it. So shut up. <laughs> I know you don't like it. It's not for ye. It was made so you wouldn't like it and wouldn't drink it and would leave us alone. She's only but anyway. 24 as well. She's not there huh? yet. She's only 24. She's not there yet. She's, she's only 24. So you're just now, and to be fair, I see a lot of women because it's like they think it'll be the, the way to a man's heart is if they drink in this and go, hmm, that's your man. <laughs> and then all the men will be like, I found my wife. You know what I mean? <laughs> you think we're stupid. <laughs> you see that trick coming a mile away. And I hit her little slop. I hit her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you get way out of that, Jeff. It works. Anyway, uh, but then and then at thirty, whiskey starts becoming a lovely little. Oh, I've been. Drop I've out. been into whiskey longer than I've been into Guinness. Yeah, I, whiskey. Like I can't drink whiskey on a night out because I drink whiskey as fast as I would drink Guinness. Yeah, it's so easy. It's so nice, especially if you make an old fashioned with it. It is 
so nice, and but it's just gone. Yeah, it's just gone. But your the grim Yahoo found out the hard way. Like that's what took him down. Was just <laughs> was just being a little fucking gremlin for whiskey. But sure, that's what happens. I swear to God, if you're not careful with with whiskey, like that'll fucking be the ruination of your life. Oh, totally. You know? yeah. Like, I love it so much. I I got into a phase where I had convinced myself. Do you know what I did? I heard Joe Rogan say that he does uh, a shot of fucking uh, shot, uh, like tequila or something before he goes on stage. And then I was like, sure, geez, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I'll drink a whiskey every time before I go on stage. So there for a year, I was just drinking a whiskey every single time before I went on. And I was convinced this was great for me. But then when you get off stage, it's not like you don't want more whiskey. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you come off stage absolutely right, straight to the bar. More whiskey yeah. in my fucking mouth and more joy in my mind. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I fucking love it, lads. It's fucking great. Like if we had whiskey right now, I'd be the happiest little loads pig on earth. Of whiskey? Oh. We've got McCallum, haven't we? Maybe we'll have maybe we'll have just a little whiskey during the <laughs> when when Tiernan's here. Maybe when Dancy, would that be that'd be nice, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be bad. Warm our bellies. I've uh, I've got to do a podcast tonight, but um do you do a podcast now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, this is my one. I can be twatted on this and it's funny. Do you know Blind Boy from Rubber Bandits? You're going on with fucking Blind Boy? He's doing his show tonight to fill him on a call. I'm going to be his guest, yeah. Oh, nice one. Jeez, there'll be a lot about mental health. <laughs> How's your, how do you deal with your anxiety? Uh, whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> whiskey. No, lad, he's going, to, he, he's going to open you up. He's going to crack you open like a coconut. I'm excited. It's yeah. Gonna be good. Do you listen to much Plain Boy? I don't listen to any podcast really. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm gonna listen to an episode of his today, uh, just so I'm fully in the thing of it. He um, finds everything fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Squirrels invented trigonometry. Did you know that? <laughs> like he just comes out with these facts, and you're like, Plain Boy, you've made that up on a mushroom trip, you know? And he just like, couches can talk in so South Africa. They can. I've seen it. You know, he'll just. <laughs> He just comes out with his absolute baluba shit, and everyone's like, "Jesus, he knows a lot." But sure, he just he just makes it up. I think. <laughs> I think he just makes all this shit up. What was the question? Bold Street. Bold Street. Bold Street. Oh, Bold Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a load of yeah, I don't believe in time. Load slips. of bollocks. Yeah. Cool. Look, if you were time traveling, like if I if I can time travel, come back to right now. Yeah, say bollocks. Yeah. I'd but maybe that there's one. a rule that you can't go back on your own timeline. We, we, we'll right, be able to go. That? We'll be able to go forwards before we can go back, won't we? We're always going forwards. No, but I mean, we'll be able to go forwards faster. What? Well, if they if they ever invent time travel, yeah. forwards will be easier. You'd only than ever backwards. be able to go forwards. Yeah, of course. Why? Why, of course? So how did no, you no, just no, say? No, it, he said, "Of course." I okay. want to know if he understands it. Why, of course? Well, I, it's just it seems like the obvious answer. No, you can only go forward because only after that point does the time machine exist. So you can't go back. To when there was no time machines or when there was no time travel because it wasn't invented then. What do we think? You'll always be able to go forward, media? but once once time travel is achieved, if it's ever achieved, you'll always be able to go forward, but then you'd be able to go forward and back to the point you're in now at will. You'd be able to go as forward as you want and as back as you want forever. And it would create this like sort of permanent state of timelessness. And it would actually be the worst thing that could happen to like humanity in existence. What if you take the time machine back with you? Like in Back to the Future. Yeah, that's a that's a movie, Carlos. Not a documentary. No, time machines aren't real either, so it's just the same. But they they will be. Will they, though, lad? Because Maybe not in our lifetime, but they will be. And from that point on, you'll be able to go as far into the future as you want. Because I feel like when I did a load of drugs, I did a load of um, mushrooms in in Amsterdam. I, I went to the zoo. Actually, it was uh, great whole time. Yes. But I remember <laughs> feeling that. I've done that. Have you, lad? I've done that, lad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So sick. Yeah. So sick. We tried to go on it was shit. Oh, lad, I tell you who's having a great time at the zoo. If you don't know, maybe you uh, saw this as well. Because you're so sensitive when you're on the mushrooms, like, oh, you can feel all the energies and you're down. The seals actually love it in the zoo, lad. <laughs> <laughs> like, they are fucking buzzing. They are so happy in the zoo. Like, we were down, we went down to say it's like blue, green neon lights, and you're just looking at the picture, square picture of the tanks, and it was just us and a load of other fucking absolutely gonked out fucking trippers just all at every window just looking at the seals and being like lads i've never seen such happiness in my life <laughs> so joyous they're doing their little flips and they're twerking at you and they're buzzing and then i tell you who's not happy in the zoo at all the people who work at the zoo <laughs> they were not happy at all them and the elephants um, <laughs> 
you could feel the sadness. But I do remember when I took drugs, I was like, I felt, did you get ever get that sense that on psychedelics that's just like time doesn't exist at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the time isn't real at all. So I think this idea that you can go to the future or the past is like, so neither of them are a place. Everything's now. Yeah, everything's now forever. Everything's now. Now is the only time there's, there's ever going to be. It's the only yeah, time there ever was. That's now in the past, what you just said. Huh? That's gone now. No, but it's happening. It's gone. It's happened. But it's, it's over. It's as well. It's Ooh. over. It's done. Everything's it's forever. I went, on a, I went on a boat trip, uh, one of the uh, river cruises in Amsterdam. This was before I went to the zoo, but it was the same holiday. And we had this American woman who was like, I can talk to animals. We, were like, we can all talk to animals, but they can't talk to us. <laughs> she was like, I can I talk, talk to animals and they can understand. We were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool, Wallace what? does roll over. Cool, no. Yeah. She meant like the fucking, she meant the giraffes. She she meant she can chat about can like the fall in Berlin Wall. Like. Like. <laughs> she, she was like, I can chat. So you can get up the ladder. All right. And then she started doing this weird call. She was like, <laughs> like that. The giraffe fucking came over to the boat. Yeah, because all she does is whenever she makes that noise, she gives the giraffe food. And then Hang giraffe. on! Whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa, this whoa, is whoa, a whoa. random American What do you mean the giraffe though? came over to the boat? Where was the giraffe? Does this so boat the, the, go through the zoo? Cat, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Swam over. He the, was just wading through. <laughs> he can't, it kind of like he's on his holidays. Like, like, what's going on? Yeah. She didn't talk to him. She made a noise he likes. I was talking to it. No, it isn't. Talking is just noises. <laughs> no, a, a, a commu- like Fact. conversation is not just. Hey. So you looked at me. It's not a conversation. It's not talking to me. That's just shouting at me. Look. But like, I know how. Then I can talk to buses. I know how to get. <laughs> hey! There's a bus outside now. <laughs> but there isn't. There definitely is a bus outside. <laughs> there probably is. We don't know, but there probably is. I, I I can talk to. I can get cows to do do things. Like obviously, I know I talked <laughs> on the other time that I uh, made a cow come, but I uh, on the other pod. But I can get a cow to like come over to me and do stuff. Not that, but like, do you know what I mean? I can go like, I can go, here, suck, suck, suck. Oh, what's that mean? Here, suck, 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 suck. Come and suck me off. Here, suck, 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 suck. Have you ever been sucked off by a cow? Huh? That's none of your fucking business, Adam. What do you want to get me to try to admit on this fucking podcast? Truth. So what does the cow do if you're saying here, suck, 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 suck? Huh? And then the cow will, the cow will like come over like this. And do what? Huh? And just come over and it could, well, they like to suck on things. That's not to mean I'm putting my, I've said already, I don't put my fucking cock in a cow's mouth. That's not how I operate. That's not how my family operates, all right? We bought, you can stick your hand in there. You can, you know what I mean? You You're can talk to the cow. Huh? Well, I am. Because I'm in here, suck, suck. He's like, oh, Mike wants me to come over and suck something. <laughs> and then comes over. If the cow says that, then yeah, you're talking to it. Yeah. Well, no, the cow, obviously, no one's actually, like, the cow doesn't, like, speak English. But, like, do you know what I mean? You don't, no, no, you, you're city people. You don't have, <laughs> you don't have these yeah, fucking. Yeah, can't talk to buses. That's his version of cow. <laughs> buses are just cows of the city. It's a fact. <laughs> you can you talk, talk to parking meters. <laughs> do you say that, like, the city people? Like, big city cock? Mud people. Yeah, well, we would. Whoa. There'd be, do you know what it is? It's a defensive thing because when we were like uh, younger, we'd be called like, you know, smelly cultures or dirty, smelly farmers. That's what we say, yeah. Yeah. And to be yeah. fair, they were hitting the nail on the head. We were smelly <laughs> farmers. Like, we'd be covered in shite. You know what I mean? Um, so we, you just have to give it to them. Like, you've observed that. We are dirty and smelly. But so then we'd kind of be like city scum, you know? We'd have to have our own thing, you know? We'd be like, you city scum. You would, you bloody saints, but uh, Yeah. Is there like a cuisine for uh, the country? Is there like uh, <laughs> stuff that you guys eat that like other people don't? Well, it's the, the, just the sheer and utter absurd level of like pideos is just, I mean, it's not even like, if I go home and we have, we have dinner at half one in the day because my father's been up since six, right? So like he gets his big meal. So we have a big fucking meal and we're talking, you'll have mashed pideos, roast potatoes and then normal boiled potatoes. They're all on, like, you can't, if you eat dinner at my house at one, like, you're just, you can't do anything for the rest of the day. You're done. Yeah. So you just eat your dinner. Now, it's fine if you're a farmer because you're out fucking running around fucking chasing Henry Monk, trying to knock eyeballs out of his mouth. But if you're fucking me, who's a waster and not doing any work, you eat that meal and then you go sit down somewhere you literally just fucking, and this is why I have problem. Like, this is my, I'm shitting all the time. You know, this is what I was raised with. Mike, can you rank your potato, like <laughs> your favorite versions of potato? Yeah. Fried potato. Is this number one? 
fried potatoes, number one, and they're made like with chips. No, fried potato. So if you get like a boiled potato, and then it's like left for a day, so it's kind of cold. Next day you chop it up, you fry it, and put onions with it. Ooh. Fry it with onions. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, I like in a pan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fucking lovely. Well, so sauteed potatoes. That's Ooh. right, sauteed potatoes. And I make chili and garlic potatoes like that sometimes. Unbelievable. I mean, you put garlic in there, everyone's jizzing. Next, mashed potato, buttery mash Ugh. with little bits oh. of little bit of garlic put in, Ooh. little bit of pepper, right? Little bit of milk put in to yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, to, yeah. To, to, to mash it up. That's number two. Number three, um, a great roast potato. I don't know if you like a good like, but I'm talking like a roast. There's a way to do a roast. A good roast potato for me yeah. is is the best you can do with a potato. Oh, I, right, I, I, I agree. Number one I also agree. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, if you get a really good one, I made a roast yesterday. It, they were they were good. Like yeah. it, they they will be better when I do the big Christmas dinner for everyone. Oh, that's yeah. so good. I could take a potato out of a urinal and eat it, and I'd like it. So <laughs> they're all do you know hairs on it, Everett, and I go ah. That's how much I love dolphin wah spuds. Is that what dolphin wah is? <laughs> a potato with piss and hair on it. No. <laughs> it is, yeah. That's why people have it at a wedding because like a delicacy. <laughs> you, where do you rank them? Are they in there? I don't know what dolphin wah is. Dolphin wah is uh, potatoes that have been near dolphins. Oh fuck! So they've they're, they've kind of they've uh, they've been beside an aquatic sea creature, yeah. right? Like salty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, salty fucking spot. I I I think that's nice. I have you ever <laughs> had garlic cheese potatoes? Now I'm so hungry. <laughs> huh? I'm huh? So hungry, lad. Let me tell you this, my fucking Auntie Miriam now, and the, the woman's a fucking ninja when it comes to garlic cheese spuds. Every family occasion keeps, she comes with it, and it's like fucking crack cocaine. Everyone, people are stabbing each other with forks. People are trying to bite the hair off each other's legs to get this shite. So she comes in with this stuff. She makes a lot, it's all like, so it's like lasagna on top, like that look of just cheese. Underneath is this creamy garlic sauce with this, the, the spuds have been fried. And it's like well-seasoned salt and pepper. Like it's just fucking... Do you, know right. what, do you know what I get when I go to Ireland uh, and take away potato pie? Ooh. Oh, mate. Yeah. So fucking good. Lovely bit of stuff. Potato pie, chips and loads of red sauce. Yeah. And cork. Oh, mate. Oh. And now think about think about if your whole nation had all of that taken away. <laughs> for, you know? for five years by the English. Yeah. They took it all. They took joy away. They took happiness away. They took sustenance away the lives of the children the mothers and dare i say even the beasts were let die the when beasts I, <laughs> when i was little i thought the potato farm was that was all you ate what like you had not well enough. it was all we fucking ate back then that was the thing that was all we ate just yeah. potatoes so, so when that rice. crop died yeah. we had zero food isn't that why black pudding exists because you used to want to keep the cow alive or the pig alive by draining, its, but you drain its blood and make it into. Yeah. I think I don't know why black pudding exists, but whoever came up with it, I'd like to suck off. It was for the potato famine. Was that? Was it from then? Yeah, because you wanted to make the most of the animal. Well, I, 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 I all I do is tip of the cap because if black pudding lad. Do you know what someone said to me recently? They were like, um, they were like, oh black, they were like black pudding. They were like, I think it was a, an American girl, and she's like, that's disgusting. It's like the blood of the pig. It's like, what the fuck do you think? Other meat is. You're eating a cow's fucking arsehole there, love. <laughs> do you know what I mean? What do you think the rest of fucking meat is? We're in Miller and Carter. You gobshite. Stop <laughs> pretending to drink a, a Guinness and fuck off. Do you know what I mean? That's like, what beef carpaccio is. It's actually beef cow's arsehole in fringe. <laughs> <laughs> what carpaccio means. Right on the nose. Um, I think we might get used to try some food in a bit. Lovely. Uh, That'd I just be think, sick. Like, we, we, we've prepared something for Dan, but he, he's you know he's not showed up today because of um, some allegations that were sure will prove yeah. to be untrue. Um, but we look, we we got him some food today that we thought you know will he like it, will he not? Um, but, and we, you can just try it instead. But like the whole idea of Dan doing that is that you give him nice stuff and he's just no. We give him we give him stuff that we think's nice to him. It's vile, yeah. right? But I, obviously, I'm just going to like it, and there won't be an entertainment value in that, or will there? Well, well look, well, that's. We'll see. We'll, that's we'll just up see to how the gods. content comes Depends out. What it is. Right. Um, I yeah. hope there's piss on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a nice house. <laughs> ah. What's happening, lids? How are we? Time to tell you about one of my absolute favorite sponsors. It's Supreme CBD. Now, look. I'm not going to sell the idea of CBD to any of you guys. You can go and do your own research into it. What I will tell you is I've had a particularly anxious time over the past couple of months, and I've started using the gummies, and they help me sleep immeasurably. It's absolutely insane. 
how much they really help you. I've gone through two full jars of these in the last couple of months since we got Supreme back in as a sponsor. At the minute, they're having a 50% off sale using our code on their website. If you go to supremecbd.uk and use the promo code WORD50, you've got a 50% off until the 26th of November. I can't recommend it enough. If you're an anxious sleeper like I am and you struggle with it, this could really help you out. Try it for yourself. I can't recommend it highly enough. SupremeCBD.uk, promo code WORD50, 50% off until the 26th of November. Au revoir. Welcome back to this week's episode of the Half a Word podcast. I'm Adam Rowe, comedian. This is Mike Rice, pedophile. And on yes, the, on the pedo. couch over there, we've got Dan Tierney! Welcome in, lad. How are you? I'm very it's good. Three, Thanks so much for having me. This Big is fan sick. of the pants. Do you like them? I, yeah. I, I do like them. I'm, I've started to wear... Uh, uh, and, and sort of, and what's the word? Expand. 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 No, Experiment. Like, and no, like the, the idea of ejaculate. Uh, like the idea of expanding, like I am a, Elevate. I'm, I'm what, I'm open to it. Like Ooh. what? Uh, broadening your horizons. Your mind, broadening yes. your broadening horizons. your horizons. I'm trying to expand my wardrobe and I'm trying to be okay with it. So like, I'm, I've been pajamas. looking at pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been looking at pants like this and being like, can I pull it off? Because I'm, I'm at, Sorry, go no, on. No, Dan, you to your podcast. Straight mate. in, just button in. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because when you said you like them, you laughed afterwards. So I was like, does he actually like them? Or was that, you know, what I, I mean? think just like me, Dan, you're an overthinker. Yeah, I think yeah, whenever yeah, someone yeah. gives you a compliment, you're like, hmm, yeah. that was a piss. <laughs> He's having me off. There, I actually do just really like them. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Uh, and I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about sort of uh, starting to put a few pieces of this type of stuff into my wardrobe. Yeah. A good pant goes a long way. A good pant does go a long way. My mother buys my clothes. Just to this day? She buys most of them, yeah. And she's a great eye. Wait, you, she buys them for you or she buys them off you when you're done with them? <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd be odd if she did that, lad. No, she just buys them. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How much of what you're wearing is bought by your mum? Uh, 70%. So the jeans, the jeans are bought by my mother, the t-shirt that I was on bought by my mother, and then... Not my, my jumper. Uh, my girlfriend bought that in what? Uniqlo. Because that, I'd Have say you heard the of jumper this is most mum energy out of the it? outfit. Why yeah. are you saying it like that? Uniqlo. Because <laughs> it's unique. It's fucking sick. Uniqlo. Uniqlo. It's trendy. Uniqlo. Uh, what? It's, it's the opposite of Uniqlo, isn't it? It's the most popular shop in the world. Is it though? It's yeah. The, it's the most uh, popular shop in Asia. They've got all the people. I didn't know about that. I didn't know it was popular. I didn't know. So she just, she got it from me anyway. I think it's sick. But the, yeah, the women buy my clothes for me. I don't buy and I don't buy clothes. What about your shoes? Huh? Oh, I get them myself. Sports Direct. Same pair of Nikes for years. They're these. Look at them. Look at that. They are what Air me Max. and Carl would call a pair of absolute bastards. <laughs> what? Because that means good. <laughs> no, that means good, good. like. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, it's, oh, yeah, like if, if you're talking about a woman's breasts and you go, she's got a pair of absolute bastards, that's good. They're but, juicy. Yeah, tits. but you, you've, you've got... The, juicy tits on my feet. They're, yeah. ras they're rascals. <laughs> yeah, you've got a pair of absolute bastards on your feet. I've got to be honest, Dan, you've got a pair of Have bastards. Have I got ba sambas? A bastard? They're, 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 they're sam bastards. Oh, exactly because got, they've yeah. been fucking... No, they're, they're classics and outside the Liverpool, they're not bastards. They are to us, though. Yeah. So if I bought you them the for Christmas, how often would back? you wear them? I'll give you them back. Yeah. Really? What the hell? <laughs> I put my best training on for you, lads. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, Sambas are like class. Like, you are right. We're wrong. Yeah. Right. It's just all of you've got weird footwear stuff here, the yeah. white sock thing and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but you know what? I am slowly moving away from the ideology of uh, like the over You're the top your horizons on it. Yeah, That's like, what's yeah. going on. Like it's because it's fucking stupid, isn't it? Yes. Like it yeah. is stupid. My like I started wearing a lot of boots, now. mate. I've yeah. got a lot of boots now. You're and a I cowboy. Said, I remember saying it two years ago, didn't I? I was, I was gonna become a boot man. <laughs> and it didn't really happen. I bought a pair of docks, but I wasn't comfortable enough in them. I've bought recently, I've got a green pair of red wings. I've got black boots from uh, Hugo Boss. I got some blunt stones, almost identical to the one Will have got, but that Will's are for women and man of men. <laughs> ah, you stupid cunt, Will. <laughs> Your women's shoes, you dumbass. Bastards. <laughs> yeah, one of us. Yeah. <laughs> you smelly bastard, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Your fucking shit shoes. <laughs> Still 550s today, though. You know what I mean? Classics. I always try and match up a bit. So the green on these with the green. I'm trying. I try and think about me like uh, Ireland. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Ireland. Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're of Irish descent. I am of Irish descent. Yeah. I, I think so. Anyway. Fucking Dan, you're 
Tiernan sounds like you're of Irish descent. Do you not think I'm Irish descent? I do think you're Irish descent, but, but then, why did you say it like that? Like because, it sounds like I am, because not, no, really. do you know do you know why? Because uh, when, when we were so me and Dan know each other for a while, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But Dan, um, because I remember when you were telling me because your parents are, are have like money, don't they? Uh, no comment. Well, no, they did at one point. Yeah, yeah. So, do you know what? <laughs> when you, the divorce. I, I swear to God, when you told me that when I was younger, this is how my I mind... these trousers. <laughs> <laughs> when you told me that when we were younger, like, I, I know, I think you'd grown up or there was horses somewhere or something. And then in my head, <laughs> in my head, that just means... <laughs> England can't be Irish I know exactly money. I, I told you I was writing a routine about my sister owning a horse that's you've right you've gone posh cunt that's right head. I swear to god in my head I just lodged oh, oh he's not Irish yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly because in my head a lot of money or especially horses yeah you're English but you, but you buy horses. horse racing is like the most Irish thing in the world. Yeah, owning no, horses no. come from Ireland as well, yeah. right? Yeah. Owning horses is the, like, but like just being near horses is Irish. We like to be near them, but we don't. We wouldn't dare to to put an ownership on them. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's wrong. You, are, you do look Irish. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, like some <laughs> yeah. people have got like an Irish head. You've yeah. got the most Irish head I've ever seen in my life. But like, well, don't say it like that. You've got <laughs> fucking Irish head in you too, like. <laughs> <laughs> look fucking 600% Irish. Look at the head in you over there. <laughs> Mini is fucking like slagging me off. off. I'm not yeah. slagging you off. It's like, <laughs> you sure? You got an Irish joint? Because <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Farm with me, Dan. <laughs> Nimble. Nimble. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Henry Monk. Henry Monk. Yeah. You have an Irish head, Dan. You have got an Irish head. An yeah. Irish head. I'm Will's got an Irish back. head. Go on, will you, dirty woman shoe wearing bastard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you've had a, you've had a wild sort of couple of years, really, Dan, haven't you? Uh, yeah, it's been a bit mad. To be you won fair. about seventeen new act competitions, then got nominated for best newcomer at the Edinburgh Festival. Yeah, it, like just back to back. He's the most decorated comedian in the history. Of UK comedy. See, you said that before and I do disagree. But you, of like competition. My favorite no thing you said though, you went to me once after I won something, you were like, you'll win the fucking Kentucky Derby at this rate. And I was like, yeah, I'm going for it. And that's because he's an Irish I've been going too long. Yeah. <laughs> Just someone whipping the shit out of Tiernan. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was crazy to be fair. Because uh, Cause you won the, the... Before COVID as well, I was like the poorest cunt in comedy. Do you know what I mean? That's how you would have seen me around. Uh, <laughs> But you, he said before you mum and dad had money and then they have they lost it all? Have they done the proper working class thing of win the lottery and then you're painting and decorating again six months later? Nah, so my mum's a solicitor and then my dad was like fucking like did fuck all and then they split up and then he took like quite a lot of their money and then he doesn't work and neither does my mum. Yes, so, yeah. lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smashed He's a legend, basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good at FIFA. <laughs> His dad is? Yeah, I'd imagine. Is he good at FIFA? <laughs> Good at FIFA. Well, if he's not what doing anything. Oh, I understand. Yeah, just chilling. And he can buy yeah. loads of packs with all them fucking money he's got off this list. Yeah. Yeah. No, Do he doesn't play FIFA, but he would be shit at it. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. He's... Because Dan, so Dan, the first year I did Edinburgh, him and Paddy Young yes. uh, were both doing a split show called Hunks. And Dan was, I say you were, were you six months in, a year in? You weren't long in. Yeah, it was about um, six to a year. But so they had a picture of them on the front <laughs> and it's called Hunks, which you think is ironic. But the thing is, Paddy Young is a hunk. So yeah. he looks really handsome. You're saying Dan isn't? No, that's Oh, fair. Dan's not at all, no. <laughs> yeah. That's Dan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you, you talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you were thinking of us. <laughs> that bastard! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bastard head! Bastard head. Uh, you know, he's uh, Irish sucking or whatever, but like Paddy, Paddy looks, uh, it looks unbelievably good. Yeah. So, but the two boys, so they were doing a split show below me, uh, or before my show. And, uh, but, so, and this was a, how long were you in? So it's about less than a year in for sure. Yeah. And we were in like the worst fucking room. Like the like imagine the worst room. Like yeah. when you were in the same room with us. Right? Was. And when we arrived, we all had to fucking like spade like fucking rubble out of the yeah. thing for like an hour and a half. And I was like, Oh, I didn't know about this part of the fringe. I thought we were gonna I mean? find some bodies on the And then some improv like... group come and was like, Has anyone moved our rubble? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Three, two, one, and it's nine eleven. Let's go. <laughs> Suggestions. <laughs> uh, 
But so Dan and Pat had the uh, uh, the show. The two of them uh, were before my show. We had a guy from Manchester called Paul, who was like our venue captain. Yeah, nutter. He was a fucking nutter. Nutter. Wasn't he? he was doing like a one man play about like fucking addiction or something. Yeah, and he was clearly like. You, you felt a bit unsafe. He'd be laughing and then there'd be a tint to him where you're like, what the fuck? Yes. And it was kind of like the, the one man show was about doing like uh, pills in like, like 90s Manchester. Did you but, watch it? Huh? I went to see it as well. Oh yeah, did yeah, I did go to see it. He does about a 20 minute routine of him. I can't tell you how much money you'd have to pay me to go and choose to watch a one man play. Even if, yeah. it, even if it went to the point where it might be so shit, it'd be entertaining. Because there's a point, isn't there, where you hear about an Edinburgh show and you're like, oh, actually, yeah. That. Oh, do you know what, though, actually? There was a lad called Nick Poopo who was at the Fringe this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that your name? Nick, Nick Poopo? Nick, Nick, Nick Nappyhead uh, was at the show at the Fringe. <laughs> Mr. Poopo. nearly Poop. said something awful there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 actually, no, no, no. Yeah. Mr. Poopo. Yeah, Nick Poopo, yeah? Mr. Yeah. Poopo. Mr. Poopo, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a show about uh, <laughs> s- uh, s- cerebral palsy or something, did he? No, he didn't. No, he had a show about being a head of an addict. Oh, you know, right. potato, potato. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, uh, he did, uh, it was a sort of half one man play, half stand up thing. And I went, it was one of the best things I've seen. So, yeah, maybe I will go and see it. Oh, what was play. like actually really good? Yeah. It was fucking brilliant, yeah. Oh, there you go. And there was like six people there, and it was still brilliant. Oh. And that's the test of an Edinburgh show, I think. Yeah, yeah. trying to be good to no one. Oh, I, yeah, my oh. friend Terence had one about his cancer. He is second time having cancer, and uh, and uh, but he doesn't ask the audience to be sad from it all. He just put does jokes about it, and it's it was it was fucking it was great. Do you think if you ever had something horrific like that in your life, do you think you'd see, try and joke about it? Because as as soon as anything awful happens to or in my life, I'm just like right. Well, I'll get a bit out of that. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm the exact same. I'd be like, oh, we'll make this into a bit, but I can't be. I can't do the sincere parts on stage. I would just say the bad thing in a funny little uh, way. Like, I wouldn't be like, hey, here's actually a serious part of this now. Yeah, I can't imagine I can't, you doing that I can't, all, yeah. No, I can't do it. I don't, I just can't, I can't do it. I don't want them ever to feel sorry for me at any point of the show. Do you know what I mean? Okay, right. Yeah. That's, How, that's me. Because uh, without revealing too much, because I know you're going on tour, but your sister is has leukemia. Yeah, yeah. And that correct. was sort of in your show that got nominated at Edinburgh this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did exactly. you, was there at any point during the show where you're overly sincere and talking about yeah, what it's like? There was, to be fair, which was like in previews was fucking mental because like what I do is like a lot of like yelling, like it's daft. And then I'd like say something like, yeah, and then my sister got diagnosed with leukemia and the crowd was just like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Because you're the, 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 the kinetic energy when Dan comes on stage, he's fucking eating chairs. He's, you know <laughs> what I mean? He's ripping yeah. curtains off the wall and wearing them like a cape yeah. and screaming. And it's just, and it's you're just. wearing a big curtain cape going, <laughs> yeah. sister's the dying. shit everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> he's just squatting down and shitting on some minority person's lap in the corner. He's like, ah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Brexit means Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you go mad, and it's Dan's non-stop laughter, like just <laughs> laughing, and then just to come out, and then <clears throat> anyway, as he just fucking ties up his belt, <laughs> my sister has leukemia. <laughs> <laughs> How did you navigate that? So obviously, very successfully, because you had a great run up there. Yeah, it was. I think it took shape when I was actually there. I, I wasn't gonna do, talk about it because I just felt it was such a like t- to be doing a cancer show in my debut year. It's just so cynical, isn't it? It's like, mm. uh, <laughs> and you don't even have it, you cunt. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> and if I did, I'd have won. Um, <laughs> 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 who, who did win? Uh, exactly. No. <laughs> oh, I'm just messing around. They're Arouge, back working in Arouge, Starbucks. A rouge one, yeah, amazing comic, great future. I was I hoping know. it wouldn't be a minority, Dan, when <laughs> you said it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it was a minority. And, uh, the comedy it was. I think I, know, I, yeah. I think I just shot on her lap as well. <laughs> 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 you know, we all cope with loss differently. <laughs> I, just, I like the idea that she turns up to say, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, then I remember like being in a car with Justin Morehouse and he was like, if you're doing an introductory hour and it's been like such a big part of your last year, you have to talk about it. It would be like mad not to. And then, yeah, I basically just did a 40-minute club set and then just whacked 15 about that on at the end, essentially. 
And it worked. Yeah. Yeah. Worked all right. Because the industry are actually fucking stupid. <laughs> they, yeah. Yeah. And if you do it, if you put enough enough pace off, pathos at that 40 minute mark, then they just forget that you've just done an hour of club comedy. Yeah, that's it. But someone said to me recently that it was directed within an inch of its line. I was like, it fucking wasn't. Like, you're talking <laughs> out your arse. You're sure uh, was. Yeah. Who said that to you? I, oh, I can't say. Okay. Uh, so, do, do, like, do you think, did, did they think there was just so, someone like fucking. Uh, Saying that, and now t- uh, at this point, Dan, what I want you to do is bite the knees of <laughs> the elderly lady in the front yeah, at the 50 to some, evoke. Uh, you could get some of your saliva in the crowd. old lady's eye. <laughs> did you have a director at all? I did. Finn Taylor directed the right, show. Right, okay. But it was very much like. That's why he he would think it was preposterous to say it was directed within an inch of his life because he was more just like a script editor with me and we like worked through it and like tried to come up with. That's so mad that I, did, I had no idea he'd done that or that he'd ever done that for anyone. To be honest, that's a great match though. Yeah, like, it's I, not a, an obvious one, but it is great when you think about it. Yeah. yeah, I mean the show was actually much darker than I think was intended because of that. You know? Yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. Because yeah. every route with him is just like fucking. Yeah, he like probably Finn, wanted Finn to do black to Yeah, as soon as I had a bit about the <laughs> army, he's saying, you need to do a bit about the drones, like hitting us. Like, oh <laughs> hitting weddings, that was one of the punchlines. <laughs> you haven't mentioned drones gypsies, Dan. Yeah, <laughs> this isn't gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's mad, isn't it? Because you never want your show to feel overly directed right. at all. But like, you do want to be honest about the fact when you use one. Like I've, I've worked with Alfie now on my last show, and I'm your current one. And he makes everything I do better and stronger. Yes. It is just a second eye, though. That's yeah. all it is. Have you ever used one? No. Do you think you ever would? <laughs> You've got two eyes. Um, I was thinking of having. I was thinking of asking Alfie to have a, a look at my. Huh. I was. I was. I was talking out of the side of my mouth to him. I heard what he said. All oh, right. Uh, and I was just. Yeah. Because I, I thought. I thought you were making a thing at me, like don't mention Alfie. <laughs> don't. I thought. <laughs> I thought you were like, don't mention Arfrey. He got in trouble earlier. This year. Like that's what I, I thought you were like. Not in trouble. I, I I heard something on the grapevine. He was he was he was saying some. What 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 what's this? <laughs> Just completely bring up all this drama. Imagine me like, why did she bring all that up? Just as I was getting over it. Yeah. No, we talk about it. Like, <laughs> uh, Alfie's talking about his year in his new hour. I seen it. I seen it in Edinburgh briefly. In a very sort of uh, I said same way. like an embryo thing. But he did it on Saturday night at Hot Water. It's going to be such a fucking great hour to stand up. When I saw it, I saw the same one as you uh, in Edinburgh, and I was like, I was fuck. It was still. It, it was. I think it was the best show I saw the whole thing. And this was him doing it completely <laughs> raw, but it was riveting. Yeah. Like just how much you were like, Jesus. Christ. Is he so? He's so good at being honest, and also so good at like. Say like being like saying how he's a shit person. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's unreal at that. He's he's very good at taking responsibility for the worst parts of his character. Yeah, and being like, but th- there is humor around it, and there's, yeah, it, it is is how it's going to be great. I can't wait to see what he does with it. I gave him a few notes the other night. And I'm going to see it as often as I can in his build up to it. Uh, so you're going to direct his one then? I don't know. I don't know whether he'd want that. It's, it's right. not that I wouldn't do it. I would do it for him if he wanted me to, but I don't yeah. know whether he. I, I, he a, a big part of his year was to do with his, his previous director. So I don't want to ruin anything, but I don't want to speak for him. But I think he, I, I don't know whether he'd be entirely comfortable with that. But I, I will give him some notes here and there as I see the show. I'd like someone to direct now. I That'd be nice. You it. want to direct someone or someone? No, time? no, Jesus, what would I be t- telling them? <laughs> t- more cum. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have you thought about having cum in a jar on the stage? <laughs> what about that? And then you eat it halfway through. <laughs> no, uh... But I'd like to have someone, just another eye. I'd like to have someone You'd just be like, it. hey. The first meeting I had with Finn, I was just like, it felt like this weight had been taken off my shoulders. Because, yeah, you can talk to other comics about your hour, but really it's a bit self-indulgent to be like, I've got this bit, and then you can't really get into it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah 100%. But just to have someone else that's interested like in the hour is like, yeah. It's I love that. I have a lot of pedo stuff in the new show. <laughs> like it's genuinely like 20 minutes, pure pedo. It's Tom Bins and, doing the huh? direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's a two-hander with Bins. <laughs> it's, it's about all of Mike's desires. <laughs> <laughs> it's just called desire. <laughs> Mike writes, it's just all, uh, but there's a lot. Of, and part of me thinks it's too much pedo stuff. So I'd like a director to come in and be like, hey, that is too That's much. That's too much. <laughs> yeah. No, stop. Because at the minute, I'm the only one directing, and I think more. I you want to do more? More pedo stuff, yeah. I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. I have this angle on uh, pedos at the minute. I think I've got their number, you know what I mean? 
They yeah. want to fuck kids. <laughs> 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 It's fucking mad. It's fucking mad. Like. That's what he's just running out. Think about these people who fuck kids. Yeah. Wild. No, yeah. they want to fuck kids. It's mad. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard Michael Jackson not only the greatest entertainer in the world uh, <laughs> do you think he did it who Michael, Michael Jackson Jacko. absolutely yeah. of course he did of course he did, did, course he did. But, but there are some people who that's I, the hill they'll die on 100%. Like, no way it's like what the yeah. I'm not sure you know yeah see this is I, I think there are people why are you not sure that's a I don't uh, believe you're not sure though I do <laughs> I saw a little glint come in your eye that was just like I want to play Johnny Cochran <laughs> On fucking Michael Jackson. I, I just, I think it's entirely <laughs> possible that people were just after his money because at the end of the day, I think it was too on the nose. Do you know what I mean? Isn't that like he was such an obvious paedophile <laughs> that I don't think he can be. Right. Do you know what I mean? You can't have a, like, because if you've got a fetish feeling that you can't be fucking the kids because it's obvious that you're fucking the kids. By that again. logic though, <laughs> Savile is also innocent. Yeah. I'm gonna say it again. What? You, what? It's too on the nose. Say that again. It's too on the nose. Didn't have one. <laughs> worth it that's worth very it. good that's um, very good I like it. yeah I think it's just <laughs> there can't be that much smoke without fire he there just can't to sleeping in bed with kids yeah he yeah. said that oh yeah no that's mad he, he, I'm not saying he wasn't a weird little guy Carl I'm saying I don't <laughs> think that rimmed a lot of them as well yeah I, no, I'm, his I'm best joking. friend was a monkey named Bubbles <laughs> That was his best mate. It what? was a monkey. Was his best it was a mate? monkey. Was his best friend on earth. You think? Was a fucking monkey. <laughs> this is not a joke. His best mate was a monkey named Bobbles. Was that his best mate? That was his is best mate in the world, lad. Like. That's weird. Like, <laughs> he slept in a cot beside the bed. Bubbles <laughs> so, sitting down there. So Bubbles, there's no way Bubbles didn't see what was oh, going yeah. on. Intelligate Bubbles. So he was like, I swear, this is absolutely true. Bubbles just turned forty this year. <laughs> Fact. No, I swear oh to God, God, I swear on my life, Bubbles had a 40 yet. He, you know, this is, this is. It's Bubbles is 40th, yeah. we're going down the long view later, club. But this mask putting a spread on. <laughs> fucking bananas everywhere. <laughs> Banana bread, he's like, they fucking, they fucking uh, perfected this over the lockdown. Fucking Bubbles, like, fucking sick. Go on, so, so Bubbles, Bubbles, is Bubbles turned 40 this year, so. No, so I'm saying turn 40, like he works, like, in, like, <laughs> Bubbles had his 40 it. this year. This is not like, like he's having a midlife crisis. No, <laughs> Bubbles is really. What? How do you know? I fucking, I keep on going what's going on with Bubbles. <laughs> I'm a bubble bot. I'm a bubble head. I know. Bubble bot? I'm a bubble bot. What? There's a... Yeah. He's seen things. <laughs> My Lad, seen if that little cunt could talk, <laughs> like, I swear to God, we need to get, we need to get like a Louis Thoreau with Bubbles and just see like, what was going on? He fucking knows what was going on. He's had tea with the mayor of Japan. Of course he has. Japan. Lad, Lad, Bubbles is one of the life. foremost fucking monkeys on earth right now. Do you, do you think Bubbles was a pedo or do you think I think there's right? no way he couldn't have known what was No, I think what happening. Dan's asking is, do you think he ever got involved? Yeah, yeah, exactly I right. He, exactly. he drew them in, didn't he? He was like, well, he was a monkey. That's right. He was like, ooh, ah, ooh. And, and then they were like, monkey, monkey. And then it was like, and then he disappeared. And then Wacko Jack was like, ah. He was a wing man. Huh? He was a wing He's man. A wing He's a wing monkey, wing yeah. Man. He was a wing monkey. Um, and he, no, I don't know why everyone thinks this is that funny. This is a 40 year old pedo monkey who has never been held to account. Yeah. Imagine him telling him, like, 100%. I ain't saying nothing. Yeah. In my defense, I am a monkey. I plead I am a monkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you do anything? Well, in my defense, yes. I am actually a monkey. I'm, I'm, I'm a monkey. <laughs> but to make it fair, you'd need a couple of monkeys on the jury as well. So. <laughs> oh, I have hey, a joke. Peanut. I have a joke there. Uh, Dan, Dan, you used to be a, a dinner lady, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Well, what is that cool fuck are you doing? <laughs> From, to be fair, you can't talk about paedophile and monkeys without well, making a smooth transition <laughs> into my time working as a supervisor in a canteen. Yeah. <laughs> We're dinner lady, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I am. But in my defence, <laughs> <laughs> I am a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> what else am I going to do? Uh, 
to the fuck kids or give them dinner. It's one of the two. And I chose, I chose the righteous path. Um, how the fuck did you get into that? Uh, how did I get into how, it? How did you get into it? I got like, scouted. You must, <laughs> you must have had family in the <laughs> industry. There's no way. He's a Neville baby. He's a Neville baby. Yeah. <laughs> He's a lady. <laughs> His family's he only big... got that job because his mum's head's in a lady. <laughs> <laughs> at what point it, it, do you have family who work for the same place? No, no, so no. So at what point do you, Dan Tiernan, uh, even because if I yeah. if I was unemployed and couldn't yeah, find work, yeah, you would never. I, I, I can't tell you how many other places I would try <gasps> to get a job before I was like, do you know what? I might try and be a dinner lady. Yeah. So that's what I mean by how, why did you that get into it? That is fair, yeah. Is I just, it? <laughs> that is fair. I just want to be clear, it wasn't like my dream job at all. <laughs> wasn't, when I started comedy, I was like, well, I'll get a job as a dinner lady. But basically- Also, sorry, dinner yeah. man. Wow. Dinner man. No, but let's it's not, not the. Let's not gender. Yeah. It. Let's not dinner gender man. this role, mate. No, but dinner man a, is gender in it. There's right? a dinner lady. A superhero as well. Your dinner man, go down. Yeah. Um, dinner man, Dan, Dan, a dinner, dinner monkey, <laughs> a dinner <laughs> monkey. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so when uh, I like wanted a job that fitted around comedy, a lot of people were TAing. Yeah. So then I started applying to agencies, and like eight agencies get you like temp work. <laughs> yeah. So then I was just like two hours a day, five minutes from my house. Do you want to do this? I was like, absolutely. And you get a free scan as well. Oh. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it was a school cake. <laughs> yeah. up. Did it, you get school cake? Uh, yeah, what I don't, maybe, but I feel like there might be some weird scow school no, cake no, no. that I don't <laughs> fucking no, you know. it's like it's like um, a sponge, sponge cake, white, white, yeah, yeah. they, they didn't, didn't have that. I know exactly what you're talking about. Nah, well. I didn't have that, but that was yeah. peng back in the day. Costa mate. Yeah, Ooh, it's nice. Love Still, that. I reckon but, up there with the best pizza I've ever had was the margarita from Carlin on a Friday. Yeah. Unbelievable. And you point your slice out before you got there, yeah, yeah. But like I'm having that piece. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and if your mate took it, it was over. Yeah, unbelievable. It was like your mate like shagging your bed. Yeah. Yeah, I said that was mine. You, you, fucked, you fucked me pizza slice. Yeah. Food's fucked now though at the schools. It's not like, it, I remember it was not nice. It was, there was no salt in anything at all. Oh really? Yeah, like really bland food. Yeah. Um, but it was mad. It was genuinely a fucking mad environment to work in. Cause you'd have 500 kids coming in through the canteen and you'd only be able to seat about 60 of them at the time. So then you'd fuck, or maybe more, maybe about hundred. Yeah. So it was like an absolute You'd 400 kids running rogue with balls of soup. Well, you'd like, yeah, you'd bring them in and they'd be like, the year fives are coming, let's go, go, <laughs> go. And like, yeah, it's absolute carnage. There's food getting lobbed at the ceiling. Yeah. And then you've got like a negotiation with like an autistic kid trying to get him to eat a fucking strawberry or some <laughs> shit. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the first It'll take your magical I'm... powers. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got them, I'm autistic. <laughs> 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 levitating the fucking pudding with his mind. How long were you a dinner lady for them? Well, about, well, I was actually furloughed during COVID. So I don't know, as a dinner lady, yeah. And then I came back afterwards and then, so about two years, I'd say. But uh, when I came back, it was shit because there was no canteen. So it was just in the classrooms. So you oh. were just like delivering sandwiches and no one knew what they were doing. And it was a bit crap. What, what, did you feel like the mm. power? Because I have a real um, mm. issue with people who are fucking dishing out the fucking carvery stuff or the portions oh when God. they're miserable cunts about it. Like that actually- Do my eyes as sound, you know? Really? Yeah, he's a Chinese fella. Because like it, it incenses me when people are tight with food that isn't theirs. Yeah, particularly you know if it's I mean? like a chain, it's like surely we, you're a fellow human, we need to stick it. Where yeah. in a McDonald's the other day, they didn't fucking like, I had a, well, you know, they needed a penny for the tenner and I couldn't find it anywhere. And she just changed it out, you know? Gave yeah. me 9.99, but don't you think that's just let me off the penny? That's just it? fucking ridiculous. Yeah, yeah when I worked in the kitchen in Mackey's, if someone ordered 20 nuggets, I'd just put like 24 in. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's but, look after well, each other. Yeah. <laughs> I've had I've had some of my most like like profound gratitude for people who have been generous to me in those situations. I remember I one time I was like dirt poor. I was on the dole in Dublin, couldn't really afford my rent, and I went over to get a battered sausage and chip. It was this Turkish guy behind the counter. And uh and I was like just looking at I want a garlic dip with my battered sausage and chip, but I couldn't afford it. And I was just there staring at the garlic dip that was in the fridge like this. 
And I just I just didn't have the money. It was 180 for a garlic dip. I didn't have that much money. What kind of and fucking dips this? Huh? Yeah, that's huh? Lad, it's yeah. fucking <laughs> thick. The Irish garlic dip, lad, it is fucking oh by Jesus. It'd make your bum tingle. It's lovely stuff, Don't lad. Put it in your ass. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I probably shouldn't have put it in my ass. I would dip the batter sausage in garlic dip and then I <laughs> That's oh. why I wouldn't give you it. He was like, no, 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 he was gonna put it on his ass. No, but so I was looking at and I don't know if he saw me look at the garlic dip, but anyway, he did the he did the chips and the batter sausage. And just gave me the, the stuff. And when I went home and opened it up, he had put a garlic oh, dip in it man. for Good free. Man. And I just thought that man's an angel. Like in his head, he was like, he will eat garlic dip tonight. It was my dad. If it is up to me. <laughs> huh? It was, it was my dad. It was your father. Yeah. Is your father a chipper man? He's a Turkish man. <laughs> oh, uh, is he? No way. He is happy yeah. though. Huh? He is happy. Hello, mate. I've yeah. got a little dip there, mate. Have you have yourself <laughs> a little dip and be happy tonight? Be happy. You know, don't give me 180. I take it from charity. I am now <laughs> Russian. <laughs> what? Russian. Dan, was it your school that you went back to to dinner lady at? It actually was. But did you know that? We no. know everything about you, Dan. What the hell? That it wasn't. That reach. wasn't on our notes, but we've got you, notes about your school. Yeah, my... Wait. Oh, about Hume Hall. It wasn't that school, just to be clear. Right, okay. Why, so why, I went... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the Hume Hall thing? Uh, we've got notes about Dan's... Uh, <laughs> a dance troupe in Dan's school. This is so good. Right, <laughs> so I do material about the spazzy school I went to, right? Okay. Yeah. I, he can say that, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why? Because I'm doing this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, why can you say that? Like, I, I don't think it's immediately obvious that why you I are... can say that because yeah. I have dyspraxia. Yeah, uh, I think it's called something else now. Actually, some woman told me after a show. Is that like, like struggle with like coordination? Yeah, it used to be called clumsy child syndrome yeah. back in the day. Apparently, <laughs> lazy. Is that it's yeah, no. you like you can't catch things. Yeah, go on. Uh, yeah, 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 let's do it. But I, I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted everything in my fiver to catch that. Let's fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> and what? And what? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that as well. What a grip. Oh, I do fuck. feel like we've got a man in a wheelchair. <laughs> 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 yeah. I was about to say this is one of the meanest games I've ever seen. Like, just immediately, Adam just said, "Let's fucking see then." <laughs> What was heartbreaking is for you to say it's mean and I didn't realise because in my head I'm like, this is a thrill. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, everyone's this. laughing at me, right? Yeah. It's fucking great. I love it. Go um, on, Dan. So you say you went to, uh, uh, in your words, a spazzy school. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, again, this is coming back to me being a posh cunt, actually, because uh, I had dyspraxia, got diagnosed in reception at school and went in normal school till year three and then got taken out, went to private school in year three, uh, which, but it wasn't like a, a good private school. It was like for, for fit kids or that couldn't get into the other schools or kids that were severely like. Do you not yeah. move in school? I always, because I stayed in the same, you stayed in the same school I thought, didn't you? You didn't move. Yeah. Is that like properly, there's a throw it off. Yeah, it's Some horrible. kids going, oh, I was in there in year five. I'm like, your life must have been fucking mad. Yeah, it must be well daunting. Because it must be, it's so like important to stick with the same people in the same place at that age. Yeah. You had to move schools four times. Do you know what was really funny though? Um, there was a lad who went to our school who, uh, <laughs> he was a bit of a gimp. And then he <laughs> went, he moved to West Arby School. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And he, and he sort of tried to reinvent himself as like the hard kid in this school. And then I got sent there. Like I was studying economics at A level, so I, I got sent there. Was it our school didn't offer was it? Was it DA? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I, I turned up and everyone was like, yeah, he's fucking he goes sick him. He goes sick. And I was like, <laughs> no, so he doesn't. <laughs> he's such a muppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he reinvents himself as the hard kid. We we had a hard kid sent to so I, I went to this country school where it was like there was six people in my class. <laughs> Uh, so it was like just literally like just flowers and cows and goats like we were just wait fucking... and that was just a normal school well no well it was just particularly rural like so we're farmers so it's like a rural school but school what's in Ireland. mad for me is that that's like the class sizes that like my grandma paid loads of money for but you just got that fucking <laughs> we anyway, just got it from that from, sentence sounded bad by the way from being my in... grandma <laughs> <laughs> we got it from just being in a, an isolated weird place so but we had it but sometimes uh uh, children from the town would be sent out because our our little place was like this little kind of utopian place where people chat to uh, butterflies and you know what I mean like befriended squirrels and stuff so we were innocent we were very innocent children so then bad kids from the town 
would be like sent out to for rehabilitation because they would melt in in the presence of our kindness and our our joy they would see the error of their way ways but like literally this fella came out uh his name was uh daryl cummins he was a good lad but he there was a nastiness there you know what i mean there was a cruelty to him and so when he arrived first order of business was just to tell us all that fucking santa's not real <laughs> <laughs> he just just first thing he did first thing he did like first day in number one daryl cummins number two if you give me shit, i'll punch you in the face santa's not real right and so this how innocent we were. We just went, all right, yeah, yeah. As soon as he turned his back, we were like, he must think we're fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Santa, Santa's not real. And where would my father get a sleigh, you stupid cunt? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. We thought he was the biggest flute of all time just because he doesn't get presents because he's fucking bold. He's naughty. And he thinks we're going to believe that. We thought he was such That's an such idiot. such an Irish word. Bold. Yeah. I hear that all the time. Oh, yeah. So we call people. So Stop the, being bold. If a child is misbehaving, they're bold. Yeah, stop being so bold. Brave. Stop being bold. Brave almost. No, you're ah. just bold. You're yeah, just you're standing out. Stop. Bad. Yeah. Ah. It's bad. I was a bold child. Like if the font was in bold, yeah. right? Like, yeah. Yes. Got, yes. It, it goes, stands out. You got a, You went to private school in year three. Keep going. Oh, right, yeah. Keep telling your story. Though. Thanks, mate. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, uh, but no, my point is, is I just didn't work there because that would have been a different story. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, the school I worked at was just like a regular primary school, but my school was West, very odd place. Yeah, yeah, what, yeah what's this about the dance troupe? Because I've literally <laughs> just got, had a dance troupe. I just want to know about it. I mean, we have, this... we have the name. Yeah, we have the, the name. No, I'm not but, spoil no it. but these are the things, this is a classic, because someone's, that, this is just my stand-up, and I hate to break it to you, but it's not true. No. <laughs> um, oh, come on, You thought I had a dance troupe called Neurodiversity. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Oh, this is a big operation. <laughs> we wanted to believe. <laughs> <laughs> this like couldn't believe his eyes when he was reading it. <laughs> this is you. fucking gold. No, I write this stuff. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Oh. I know. That's why I tried Wait, to shoot stand you. Stand-ups lie. Yeah, I know. Uh, is this true? You didn't. I don't. Hot, you didn't to hot twinks. <sighs> How the fuck do you know that? Have you been looking at my porn history? Like, well, wait, I, I like, like, yeah, like Twinks. Is that from another podcast? Yeah. You I don't, don't know, know what you get. This is just a fact sheet that we get given by. Uh, oh, these Robinson. lads. I right, yeah. understand, understand. Hot Twinks. Do you know what a Twink is? Isn't it like a tiny little gay man? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. A little skinny, drug addled, bulimic gay man. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Full title. <laughs> 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 like I just a, shocked. A little yeah. gay man with shock and anxiety, like. <laughs> No, I'm not. He's I trembling. <laughs> it's not a turn on their mental. <laughs> <laughs> ah, like a mad little troubled man. <laughs> um, every time we've had a member of the gays in the, the gay room. Community. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, community. The gays community. I hide it the best though so far. You, I? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm doing that for you fellas. Yeah. Um, I asked I asked Laddie Dean this because uh, I, I wanted to. He he's hides another, it well as well. It, it, yeah, yeah, he's another covert one. You're, yeah, oh, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, undercover. Uh, <laughs> yeah, stealth game. <laughs> Four. Are you the bummer or the bummy? Because I'm obsessed with this because... The, <laughs> well... <laughs> the, no, but I have no, to tell that, like, you, Adam. If, I didn't know until a few years ago that the gays, like, just picked one. And then, and relatively speaking, like they stuck to their one role. Yeah, yeah like, I, think I didn't it's just know that. You. I just, I just thought you were like, you know, my dick in your ass. Let's swap around. <laughs> <laughs> like you like it's swap. mad to me that you said like, no, I just get bummed and you just do the bumming. Yeah. What, 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 what do, what do you think, Adam? What do I think you I are? Think yeah, yeah. I think you're the bummer. Yeah. I think you are absolutely. Yeah. Battered and bummels. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Am I uh, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Can you get with another bummer? <laughs> you what? Can you get with another... I guess you just wouldn't bum, right? Like... You'd... you'd, you'd... <laughs> you know, you wouldn't... <laughs> That's not a thing. You are my father. <laughs> <laughs> Shagging each other. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and gone! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like a scene in Harry Potter where Voldemort <laughs> goes off. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Dumbledore, not a lot of people know this, but Dumbledore and Voldemort, they're both bummers. That is yeah. their problem. <laughs> that yeah. is their, their big issue. So they didn't get on, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the reasons well, they can do two alike. Two <laughs> bottoms get together. Do you just like kiss bums? <laughs> I, I just don't think it happens, Cal. No, it must happen. You can still be yeah. attracted to someone, not based on I how mean, they have sex. Typically, I, I, I like. I'm not the best person to talk about this, but like, uh, like typically, I think it's pretty inferred what you are. You know, like oh, is it, yeah. like a bottom. Like 
I, I, I've not had loads of sexual experience, but every time I have, it's been, there's not been a conversation. It's just obvious. You know they'll I mean? have holes in their, in their They're, jeans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cool. They're holding the back of the jeans, <laughs> there the bottom, holding the front, there the top. Yeah. Such a good system. So you just like you just know inherently like you, what you are. Like I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of people that say, "Oh no, oh, like sometimes there's yeah." It just tends to be like the more masculine one, right? It's going to be doing the booming. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe some yeah. people are versatile as well, and some people uh, were were bummers like me, <laughs> and then. End up realizing they'll have a go at bummying later on. Do you know what I mean? Bummying? <laughs> yeah, bummying. B- bummying, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> bummying Rhapsody. Yeah. <laughs> that is bad, that's <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody, pretty good. Yeah. Bummying Rhapsody. I think we got it. Yeah. 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 I just thought you were slow to react, to be honest. Can Freddie Mercury can, can, can be in both of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you not just say one night I want to get bummed? What? Yeah, I guess. I, I've never been bummed, but I reckon. If I live to like fifty, I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll be bummed at some point. That's, you know what I mean? That's yeah. all of us, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess. that is mad. That you, uh, Look at Will. <laughs> that is mad that you can be gay, have gay sex, but never do that. Yeah, I was, I was like, hell, I thought you just like switched it up. Just doesn't like genuine doesn't cross my mind. It would have seemed to me originally it'd be incredibly ungenerous not to offer up your hole <laughs> if you've if you've just stuck it in someone else's hole. <laughs> And That's then you're I mean. like, yeah, I'm actually not it's into like that. It's like getting you round. <laughs> yeah. I could have, honestly. <laughs> right, on, I'll, round. Get you, I'll get you next one. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what? You're round, turn around. Do, do you know what? I'd have... I'd have... <laughs> <laughs> we did well. That's what we're doing. But now you say, because I'm, I, I, I'm not be, like that experience, if someone said that to me, maybe I'd think, oh, is that the etiquette? I had no idea. <laughs> like, yeah. Fuck. Oh, I, I should have like when you buy cocaine and the next day you get charge for it you have to send it you're like fucking hell I didn't know that was the deal like, yeah I thought they were gonna give me for free yeah. yeah I thought it was friendship but no they were charging you but <laughs> my friend uh, a good friend of mine Rob a uh, very funny comic as well Rob Moriarty but he uh, he's great I yeah. hosted King Kong when he won it yeah, yeah he's unreal hilarious but he blew he he went to a guy's house and blew and blew the guy blew the blew his cock asunder uh, <laughs> you know his him, and um, your man shagged his head it? and everything like it trottled his head and Rob said all's fair in, in the love and war so he trottled his head chips in his chips in poor uh, Rob's gob Rob swallows it like a champ next thing mm. your man just gets on the bed and Goes to sleep. <laughs> and Rob literally had to start like kind of shaking at him, being like, lad, wake up there, will you? <laughs> like, every- <laughs> <laughs> like every other man. I swear to God, he's like, can you suck my cock? He was like, I never said I'd suck your cock. <laughs> That would be disgusting. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was like, what a lack of Absolutely. what a lack of decency, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah Adam, if he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think everybody in this room needs an immediate break. Yeah. What's happening, lads? Time to tell you about my favorite and our longest standing OG sponsor. It's manscaped.com. Our promo code is WEIRD20. That gets you 20% off and free shipping worldwide when you buy any of their products online. Um, however, they're about to move into Tesco UK this month. And if you're looking to pick up something for like a Christmas present, maybe for a man in your life, you know, or a woman or a trans person, uh, whoever in your life needs to trim their pubes and make their dick pussy or something else more attractive, you can't go better than Manscaped. They've got the Lawnmower 5.0 now. If you get this performance package, the performance package 5.0 Ultra, not only do you get the Lawnmower 5.0 with the interchangeable uh, tops, so you can use it for both your pubes and your body hair. You get the, the Weed Whacker, which is for your ear and nose uh, hair. There's the Crop Preserver, the Crop Soother, which is basically shampoo and moisturizer for your bollock hair or pussy hair or other hair. Um, look, they're, they're the best for the reason. There's a reason they've been on board with us for so long. Our listeners love these products. We love these products. Every time we get sent new stuff, there's a big fight in the studio over who gets to take what home. Uh, so if you're in Tesco this month, pick up some of their products. And if you want to get them online, don't forget to use the promo code WEIRD20. It'll get you 20% off and free worldwide shipping. Go and get the performance package 5.0 Ultra and get yourself a new cock shaver. Oh. It's the final section. Oh. We're still here with Mick oh. and Dan. Yeah, no. The Irishman, the three Irishmen. Anyone call you Mick? Uh, no, but I don't mind it now. I don't like Mickey or Mikey, but I like Mick, Mike, Michael's fine. But... Mickey Rice is sick, though, isn't it? Huh? 
Mickey Rice. But Mickey is just do you call do you call dicks Mickey's here? No, uh, we don't. Put, See, don't. in Ireland, we'd be like your a Mickey is your cock. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you have a smelly Mickey on you. So do you know what I mean? That's what I'd say to you. You're the richest of Ireland. You've got a smelly Mickey on you. I can smell it from here. <laughs> oh, What's fucking, your Mickey? The whole podcast have been like, good fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> that has a fucking cheesecake factory. Sticky down below. Mickey. <laughs> yeah. In, in the um, break, I was earwigging you two. Um, yeah. You were talking about something that happened in Spain. Yeah, well, with, so me and, me and Dan went... Uh, we, we took a little trip to Spain. You two? Yeah. Yes. I didn't know you were that close. Yeah. Well, so we... we well, it wasn't just us, yeah. crucially. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like a romantic trip. Because I'd say we're trip. close, but we're not... Yeah. I don't, it would be insane if me and you went to Spain together. That would be insane if we went to Spain <laughs> together. No, but we're, we're friendly and we had been uh, <laughs> <We're> around... Friendly? <laughs> huh? Yeah. That was like, we're civil. Yeah. yeah. We will pass. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll pass ourselves with each other. No, but like, like we're, we're friends. But so, but, um, so me, Paddy Young, John Spillane and Dan, after the Fringe one year, we were like, let's go on a fucking a little holiday. So we went to Spain to help a few shows in, in Barcelona. And um, and at that time, it's funny, because like like Dan, how, like this is the 20, maybe 2019. Right before COVID. Right before COVID, yeah. 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 Um, and none of us, were, we were all, no one was anywhere in comedy no, at, that, no. at that point. <laughs> oh, him and Paddy both got nominated for Best Newcomer this year. Like, it's so unbelievable. Um, uh, and I did a lot of cocaine this year, so everyone did something. Um, uh, <laughs> actually, fucking have a word. I like some have a word lads coming out of my show afterwards, and this is the worst of reaction. Was just like, do you want to stripe in the jacks? Strap in the jacks, and he just brought me down to the jacks and got me absolutely fucking off, uh, off, off my fucking. That's why rocker. Dan struggled so much with his coke addiction because so yeah. many of our listeners are like, I know you've quit the coke, but do you want some now though? Yeah, <laughs> At every show he ever does. Yeah. I know you've got a problem, lads. I know, but just like a little cheeky one. Yeah, <laughs> and I had, I was pretty sure I had COVID at the time as well. I was not in good form, but you can't <laughs> turn it down either. Do you know what I mean? You're like free coke. What? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, who am I, the king of France? I can't turn that down. <laughs> That's the only person who says it. Yeah. <laughs> no. He's notorious for it. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, you a drugsman? Uh, am I? Uh, we're yeah. me and Adam aren't. We're not. No, I, I know that, but you, you seem not. like you could be, though. Do you know what I mean? I, I think mean that was we're so high on life, Dan. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah. People yeah, just yeah. look at me and Carl and they go, do you know what? They're doing it so right. They must be on performance and hands and drugs, but it's just joy. It's just but if, if you did cocaine, you'd... You become a dictator of a small yeah. country somewhere. Like, I've do you done I mean? it though, and it, I, genuinely, like, it, I just don't get it really. Like, I don't like, and it's not being shy. It's just it just doesn't do it for me. And I, I, there's just something a bit icky about it. You know what I mean? Mm. Oh, it does get rotten towards the yeah, end of any night. It's gross. Yeah. It is disgusting, yeah. but lovely at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? I, I know. What you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I just never like. I, I also like. I like the feeling of being pissed. Yeah. So like, yeah. I don't want to delete the last five pints I've had. Yeah, I, I want to be. I want to be a Guinness in. Like yeah. that, that's me at my absolute peak. Yeah, I did. Have uh, Dan? Do you ever have a wank when you're uh, on on coke or tried to have one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had one there when I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah that's the only reason I do it. A lot of people do it at the pub. I stay at home, grab big old wank. <laughs> just you at home. Yeah. Me and my and Mickey. Me. He's just, yeah. <laughs> just a bit of lube, a bit of coke. I'll we'll see you down. Uh, Cause I got given a, a, a little bu a, a little bump after a show, and I was like, I'm just going home straight after the show. I, I was sick and everything. This is the night after I done it with your man, who looked like just a shaved head uh, uh, Liverpool fella that came in the stripe. The next night in Northern Ireland, lad is like, trying to bump, and I was like, I, I'm going straight home to bed. So I was like, I'll just do the bump and go home to bed. <laughs> so I did the bump and then went home. But then I was just there, and then I was like, Well, sure, geez, I'm up now. I better have a wank. I swear to God. This was, uh, I think, 70 minutes. Like, yeah, Dan, Dan says he has our wanks. Yeah. because yeah. honestly, like... Sounds the, the, awful. The, lads, it does sound awful, yeah. Awful. Lads, it's shocking. Like, the, I was like a fucking fly caught in a spider web. Do you know what I mean? Like, the sheets were just painted on Occasionally on a hangover, I'll have, yeah. like, a little extended, like, a director's <laughs> cut wank, where yeah. it's, like, like, eight minutes. But yeah. that is, like, fucking an absolute, hell, mate, yeah. like, oh, lad. top end limit. Like, what are we doing here? Just, I, was, I was just getting the demon out of It was like Ali you, Fraser, me and my cock. Like, Dennis you know you know I mean? Lewis. Just get it done. In and out. Yeah. I'm going to score so easy wank. Like, oh, <laughs> lad. But you know, you're, 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 you're on coke, though, as well, so you kind of fancy the challenge, you know what I mean? Oh, you're lad. kind of loving the... Uh, <laughs> like, after a while, you take a break, you're in one corner, your cock's in the other, you're both getting <laughs> fucking... I see. Yeah. I see no. I don't know. You see no bell. <laughs> <laughs> I see no bell. 
That's how it works, Rocky. Yeah. yeah. But like, I, I could... I can't I, feel I, my bell. Yeah. I can't feel my bell. <laughs> 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 I could, like, hear my, like, coaches from when I was younger shout as I was wanking, like, come on, Mikey Rice. Come on, Mike. You can fuck it. Are you chasing the jizz or are you just liking it? No, I'm chasing the jizz, lad. <laughs> nice. But I'm I'm, wa- I'm wanting to fucking come. But I'm on antidepressants and coke, so it's like oh. it's doubly hard it to get there. Okay, is it so I was just like, ah. <laughs> but finally, I was just like, lad, there's there was blood, there was like families crying outside my window. They're like, no, Senor Meg, no. <laughs> and then when I came, lad, I fucking it went. I'm taught this went through the fucking ozone layer. You know what I mean? Like, just <laughs> fucking, like, it, <laughs> like this fucking came to Moon's face. Was like, what the fuck? <laughs> the man like, in the moon is just there, like, like, like a towel. Like, <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God. It's it's like, the Xbox, the sw- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just goes you the cloud. <laughs> yeah. uh, but um, but so me and Dan <laughs> were in Barcelona, uh, and uh, so we were doing this show, right? But it's the worst. It was yeah. bad. Yeah. It was really bad. Like yeah. when we arrived, I I went in first into the room and I just immediately turned around to look at the referee. Like we're gonna fucking bomb here. Yeah, it's a shit. Yeah. Oh, Why yeah. did you even arrange them though? If you've gone on all these, couldn't you just go and? Because it's all where of them? we were at that point where I think we all like liked gigging together in Edinburgh. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, yeah. let's go and do the best way to replicate the Edinburgh experience would be to go away and gig. In retrospect, I think we were all like, why are we doing these rotten little gigs? Yeah. yeah. Because we could actually be having a pleasant time yeah. on this holiday, and yet we're we're stuck for hours in this fucking miserable situation. But so we're all just fucking, we all just fucking eat shit. But we're all also getting fucking hammered at the same time. So we're getting pissed. Yeah, you know, I was like a little sucky calf with the whiskey, and then we we, came- we were the whole show as well. Yeah. So there's some ropey MC. Uh, I yeah. can't remember who that was. Yeah. And good. then your mate, what was his name? Mad cunt, uh, comic. So McTiernan. Don't look at Tiernan. He's got the same surname as me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very funny. We For a second there, I thought you were talking in the third place. <laughs> <laughs> Mad cunt. Mad cunt. Won a lot of Fucking competitions. Fucking weird. Irishette, you know him. Did the dinner lady. Mung. Sorry. Listen. He <laughs> can say it. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. can't catch stuff. What? Yeah. Can't catch things. No. Nope. No, but I am. I, I am disabled. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am a. Uh, all right. Uh, How's this tra- now? It's just going in the trailer. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, absolutely. Is. So so anyway, and then so we we finish off the gig, and anyway, we're all fucking. Uh, full of piss and vinegar after the gig, you know, or that was shite. We, we all died. I was like, why do we do that? And then Dan was outside. So you were out chatting to this one or this girl because we were all then outside just smoking or whatever outside on the street. The audience were coming out. You're trying not to make eye contact with them. And then <laughs> what does this, uh, your one so comes up to you. So there was a few of them and they're talking to me and they're basically saying like, they're just giving me loads of advice. Like, don't talk about this. Like audiences here don't like that. Like, you, you know, you need to talk more. One of them was like, it was quite cruel. Yeah. It's like you need to talk more about your face and stuff. Kind of. <laughs> You're not really using what you've got. Yeah, yeah. It was a good part. Yeah. You need to make reference to your to this. Yeah. Cause... If you see my last show, I definitely did take that advice on board <laughs> as well. To be fair, but they're just being genuinely like quite yeah. nasty. Yeah. And Mike just hears this going yeah. on and comes over like. Yeah. Well, so I heard it going on, and my one of my big pet peeves is just anyone giving anyone advice about anything. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah. Well, we're going to be giving no. some advice in about two no. minutes. No, working out on their own. <laughs> Fuck off. Do you know what I mean? Life will do that for them. But, but one thing, but you know when like, people who do, haven't done comedy, decide, they've never gone once up on stage and next thing they're fucking giving someone a lecture that does it all the fucking time, is dedicated their life to it. So the, them ones were just like being fucking condescending to that. So I was fucking about seven whiskeys deep and I was, you know, just full of fucking hate. I'd hate in my heart, you know. So I just went over to one and I was like, what the fuck are you saying to, to Dan? I was like, you stupid fucking rotten. I don't, I don't know if I said who. I think what you a... did that was worse <laughs> is, is you explained to her why what she was doing was so hurtful to yeah. me. Yeah. And it completely broke the woman. Yeah. She starts crying. Yeah. Mike leaves. <laughs> so I'm so, so she just me and a crying woman. So Mike's come over to help you, made yeah. a woman crying on. Yeah, I'm out actually. Yeah. No, no, so no, now no, I'm no. like <laughs> hugging her, consoling her, <laughs> like apologizing. <laughs> oh yeah, I was the I was the villain in the situation, but uh but so yeah, I I was like, because I really dug it into her. I, I was like, do you not see how absolutely 
horrible what you're doing is to him right now. How condescending. Imagine if he came into your job after never doing it and just started telling you to do your job. The disrespect, the fucking rotten disrespect. You're an awful, like I was just really just trying to get her to kill herself. But like, I didn't, like as in, I didn't want that, but like in that moment, the, you know, there was a nastiness to the whiskey. Oh, there's, there's a person in my head right now. Yeah. And I know there's a chance this person might kill themselves. Yeah. Because they're having a really bad time. Yeah. And I don't want that to happen. Yeah. But I also don't want them to ever not have that feeling. Right. Like, <laughs> that's how much I hate them. Whoa. I want them to be that sad forever and yeah. never do it. Yeah. Like, I didn't want her to do that, but I, I did want to... <laughs> Instead of plow on with his story, like, all right. Who, who, who is it? I can't say. I'll it. bleep it. I'll, I'll, no, no, oh. I'm not even risking it. Oh, I'm not even risking you putting a bleep in and then accidentally an advert nudges it. And it, I can't. I'm not. At the second we hit that button, I'll tell you. Sorry, right. I thought you were saying, Adam, that that was you. No, you said no, there's no. a person in me. No, no, no. So no, no there's a person in deep. my head. <laughs> and you come and hide. And you thought. Yes. <laughs> what I love is you just thought he was saying he's suicidal, and I was like, anyway, yeah, back to my story. Like, <laughs> and then you. Went no, I'm really, really sad, Mike. I'm thinking of ending it right now. Oh fuck you! I really want. Them to in kill themselves. Now, right? But I hope they don't. I was like, are we just going to address this? <laughs> uh, right, okay. I'm glad that that's not you, Adam. No, I'm a... Uh, uh, no. I'm Are we right. ready to give some advice? Yes. No, you hate it? You hate advice, but huh? everyone else can give it. I don't mind advice when I give the advice. Because <laughs> that's from a man who bloody, who's lived a life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, this first one is anonymous. If you've got any correspondence, send it to haveawordpod at gmail.com. Uh, hi, lids. Need some urgent advice, but please keep me anonymous. I'm 25 and recently single. Past couple of weeks, I've had a thing going on with this 23-year-old girl from Colombia studying over here. On our second date, at the end of the night, I was getting a good vibe, so leaned in for a kiss, but she pulled away. She told me that she'd never actually kissed anyone before. <laughs> On our next date, she came over to mine and I showed her the ropes of necking on, stopping <laughs> once or twice to legitimately tell her. <laughs> stopping once or twice to legitimately tell her where she was going wrong. We've planned another date round at mine. And the chance of taking things further are very high. However, I'm not sure if I want to be the, resp the one responsible for taking this girl's V card. Am I being a fanny and should just go for it? Or is the responsibility of being someone's first actually important? What are you and I shouldn't about? be the one to do it if I have no intention of getting a relationship Lie. with the girl. Make lies up. This is how you kiss. Lie. Yeah. With the banter. Don't yeah. shag it. Oh, lie. yeah. I teach her how to be a fucking revolting kisser and then you just free it into the world. Yeah. Yeah. Like teaching all the wrong on, what stuff. ideas you got. Also, do you know what? Like Hands this, sex? It, first of all, this guy sounds like a, a massive fanny himself. Like, should I take her? Like, if she wants to have sex with you, let her have sex with you. It's fucking. Yeah. yeah. Like, like she's 23. It's time. And yeah. Colombian do, as well. You know You'd be Columbian doing her a favor. Colombian 23 year old. I don't, first of all, <laughs> she's, she's lying. Let's yeah. just all say that. She is yeah. full of shite. Uh, you can't, but like, let's take her at face value for a minute. She's never kissed anyone before. You can't then be given a tutorial by you doing it. You no. just have to go for it and... Have you ever kissed a girl? What? <laughs> <laughs> but if she's 23 in a Colombian and she's never kissed anyone, this must be the ugliest Colombian girl that there's ever been. Think about it. This is, these, are, this is the hot, these are the hottest people. Yeah, but I think you take that out of it. It doesn't matter, does huh? it? Huh? It's just... Well, yeah. she's religious. Huh? She's religious. She could be very religious. Yeah. But she's obviously turning her back on Christ now if she's looking for this lad's rotten kyok isn't she would you teach someone how to kiss michael huh? you just move away i would teach no i'd teach but i think it'd be fun like you said teach her wrong like be like you start by biting their ears or you know what i mean like just <laughs> fucking work Whoa, their lips Whoa, yeah. no, no. <laughs> start sucking on <laughs> their <laughs> nose <laughs> for about yeah i'm sure i'm not going to have both of ears first um <laughs> but sure if your one says if she's saying hey listen put that that out that old rotten kyok in me why would you not oblige the woman do you know what I mean? He sounds Ooh. like a bit of a gimp, doesn't he? I think yeah. so. Showing her the ropes the way and well, She's like, I've never kissed. And he's like, well, I'm like an expert. Like I'm showing her <laughs> and that. It's a bit funny. He doesn't sound like he's an expert in anything. He's, no. He, he's worried about having sex with a woman because she hasn't had sex with anyone before. Yeah. Like, first of all, even if you're shite in bed, which is entirely possible, of course. If you're shite in bed, she's got no frame of reference. Mm. The so best just, she's ever had. Well, you're the best she's ever had. Literally impossible for it to be any other way. Yeah. Like... Look, if this is all real, then you, you've got to be really sort of 
courteous and nice and make sure it's a good experience for her. But stop being a fucking big space idiot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> be really, be really sound and go down on her for a long, long yeah, time. Yeah, do that. Start with that. Start with that. And for ages, like hours. <laughs> Just days, days, <laughs> days, weeks. Having that, yeah. Having that start again. One hundred percent. Get a bag of coke to keep yourself awake while you're down there. She's, She's Colombian. Yeah. 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 She's there, Colombia. you she there you go. Yeah. There you go. It's a small business. Now. Yes. <laughs> the cycle begins. Absolutely. Hundred yeah. percent. Just be the most gentle, beautiful, uh, kind lover and learn learn a bit of Spanish as well. No, don't be gentle. I mean, huh? first time, yeah, be gentle. First time, come on. But like, I don't know, send him a few, uh, you have to send him a few Andrew Tate videos, that Tate says, that's how, that's ideal. Virgin is ideal. Yeah. Andy Tate, King Tate. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, we know what you're talking about, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you live your life by Tate? Huh? Yeah. What would Tate has, do? Has Hang on, done... wasn't Andy Tate give a gig set to end that season? <laughs> <laughs> it's Andy Tate, yeah. That's Andy Tate, you're thinking Andrew Tate. Well, no, he's your man that does... Oh, like... Moisey, that's fucking Andy Tate, isn't <laughs> it? Yeah. Andy Tate, oh, the that... Tate Modern, yeah. The museum. <laughs> yeah, Andrew the... Tate runs the Tate Modern, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if he wrote, he's certainly a big patron of it, yeah. <laughs> He would have contributed a lot. To it. He would have put a lot of exhibitions in. Tracy yeah. Emmett is a big fan. Yeah. Of them all. yeah. So Andrew, T listen to Tate says it best when he says, "Get them young when they're um, virgins." Now I think Tate is my is a, a sex trafficker, maybe. Allegedly. No, he is. He is. But like, he has a lot of. He says a lot of great stuff. Like he says, "Get rich and buy a car." That's good advice. <laughs> That's one of his big points. Yeah, yeah. Get rich and buy a car. Stop being poor. Stop being poor. Stuff. Stop being poor. Own stuff, and uh, shag shag a load of young virgins. And this guy, and you think, and you look at that, and you say, "Hey, that's a roadmap I can follow." Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Anything else, Finn? <laughs> <laughs> Go yeah. watch some Andy Tate videos on TikTok, <laughs> and you'll get it all from that. <laughs> Give it gigs at the end of the season. <laughs> You gotta cry, cry, cry for this. Club. I just want to say I, I don't. It I, is really funny, by the way, to live in a world where Andrew Tate <laughs> is just Andy Tate who's lost the weight. <laughs> Bass, by the way, yeah. that is a lovely world to live well, in. He went on Big Brother. And yeah. all of that. he's lost all the weight, got fucking ripped, moved to fucking Romania, and now he's like this fucking old oh, meninist gobshite cunt. <laughs> but in the end, it, all he truly cares. About, the reason he's started trafficking <laughs> and abusing women is because he can't handle the. Demand eyes of Manchester United football club it's <laughs> like a world that I can live in right we've got another bit of advice uh, please, round us out this please, is the end of yes, it please keep me anonymous as the missus listens for obvious reasons you're about to hear I think it's something best kept secret this, is this isn't specific <laughs> to her but it's for any girl I've dated He's luckily gay. it's just gay. specific to girls I've had sexual relations with when they cry Bye. I get an erection not every time but the majority especially if we have argued about something yeah. they have done wrong. It seems like I'm not the only one from a quick Google. Yeah. So does this happen to any of you? Yeah. Any advice on how I handle this? Cheers, lads. Andy Tate gets an erection <laughs> when we cry as well, doesn't he? Yeah. He can't come unless they're crying. <laughs> are you, are That's you, a fact. Are you nodding as in this is a thing for you? Oh, 100%, yeah. What? Better than someone being upset. What the, What are we talking about? Oh, <laughs> just <laughs> saying that. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I tell you, this is this is that absolute truth. It's starting to really worry me. The lunatics we've gathered as a fan and base. Also, oh, I, I love making women cry. They're not crying. I can't come anyway. What do we do about that? Oh, <laughs> with them, they're not crying enough. What's going on? It, Grief is an aphrodisiac, Adam. <laughs> Sinead O'Connor, mate. Famously, yeah. So we were all as hard as fucking <laughs> granite when O'Connor passed. It's no, when she died. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean when she <laughs> cried in the video. Oh, it's our, all right. <laughs> no, no, she, 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 fifteen days since she took your love away. So the the Vittorio and I'll out him right here now. Vittorio gets turned on by by uh, grief and pain. Vittorio Angeloni, the grief and pain of others. That's yeah, he true. He keeps going around killing all the relatives of his missus. <laughs> oh, another auntie, dad. Oh, sorry, babe. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Yeah, yeah. Come here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on. So, does, Dan, do you like when. <laughs> yeah. do, do, do I like it when women cry? <laughs> no. Do you, do you get aroused when people no, cry? No, I don't. I think it's interesting how this person's like, keep me anonymous because the missus listens. Like, his missus is going to be like, oh, it's not just him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's 
good. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> I don't think he's told his missus is the thing. Oh. Yeah. I, th I don't think he's been like, hey, babe, can you cry for me? Because it gets me out. I think he's writing into oh, us because he's, he's like. Yeah, you can't, you can't, yeah. you can't no, you say can't. that. When no. you cry, I get turned on and I don't know why. Fuck. Oh. So that means there's loads of have a word missuses thinking, that's mad, isn't it? But that I, is mad. But I think in reality, when a girl is uh, crying and that they're emotional and then you're over and you're like, oh, hey, it's all right. And then there's kind of the, the, the wetness. No, do you know what it is? It's probably like a, a man you know thing, I mean? like, I will look after you. And yeah. that means fucking you. I will look after you and, and, and put a, an heir in your belly who will yeah. also look after you. And then, and you know what I mean? And they'll, not just me, I'm going to make another little fella that's going to look after you as well. It's broody. <laughs> it's broody. Yeah. They're crying. <laughs> I'm going to make another little fella. No, but there's a difference. <laughs> that's a good that's a There's good a difference Irish between impression. liking the idea of being there for someone when they're going through something. And there's a difference between that and she's upset. I want to fucking smash her head in. Like, yeah. it is like. Yeah, no, you're right. Getting erect. When someone cries is wild. That is not good. Yeah. Um, and it, you can't choose, like, what gets you a rep, but it's not really a defense, is it? Do you know what no. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pedophiles can't either. No, But exactly. I judge them. Just yeah. stop it. Pedophiles don't There we cry. go. Let's end pedophilia now. Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. Enough. <laughs> Cut it out. Stop acting the maggot. It's bloody horseplay and well, you know it. <laughs> right? Horseplay. Enough. Horseplay. Foul yeah. Play. It is in your country. Yeah. Foul play. Um, I think um, oh. we've come to a natural end. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what trying to tell pedophiles? <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, like uh. it's just apps that Dan's not here, and we'll do a camera telling everyone to stop fucking <laughs> <laughs> no. Dan will beat the allegations. Don't um, worry. Mike, tell everyone where people can, the way they can find you on the internet, and if you've got anything coming up. Yes. And oh, so uh, uh, at Mike Rice Comedy on Instagram, I have a tour. That I'm doing in the spring. All tickets are now live on MikeRiceComedy.com. I'm going all over the UK and Ireland. So if you're anywhere, just go MikeRiceComedy.com. Look it up. You'll see the date that's near to you. I have a special on YouTube, An Irish Disgrace. So go uh, watch that if you want to see more or see some of my stand-up. And uh, and I have a podcast, Mike and Vittorio's Guide to Parenting, and uh, Big Mike and the Chief. Check them out. Uh, they're good. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, Dan, over to you. Same thing. Yeah, it's just Dan Tiernan. I'm on Instagram. I'm on I'm doing a mini tour, uh, so London, Manchester, Edinburgh, Glasgow, and London again. And I think dantinan.com will work, but if not, just my bio, I think. Wonderful. Uh, my name is Adam Rowe. I'm always here, you know? <laughs> and uh, yeah, my Peter tour... Peter Foyles can cut it out. Yeah, just fucking pack it in. Just you know? pack it in. Uh, my tour runs uh, up until March, but I do have some extra <laughs> dates being announced soon. Um, it might even be as early as next week, but some very exciting news. I'm very excited about it. Uh, big one coming up, Manchester Apollo on the 9th of December. There is some tickets near the back of the circle still remaining. Do come and see it. We're going to make it quite the party. Adam Road of Code UK. Um, and Finn, do you have one of your things? We've got a song. <laughs> That's what they're called. Got a song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a band called Glass Nerve, and this is their tune that came out last month called Foreplay. Shite. Wonderful. Who doesn't love a bit of foreplay? Too long. Well, who who do we want to stop doing the foreplay? Pedophiles. Yeah. What yeah. an advert. Yeah. No, but like, let let can we just be a hundred percent clear? We are, we're not saying go straight to fucking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Cut it out. <laughs> just just to be a hundred percent clear. Yeah. Don't do any of it. None of it. No. Oh, none of it. We're not, we're not we're saying the cut to the shit. Yeah. We're saying yeah. cut it out completely. Yeah. In fact, if you have to do it, keep the four players. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get some more time to you know. Yeah. 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 Get stopped. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>